Pirates, I have a surprise. Uh-huh. Uh, well, the megaphone setting works now. Woo! Oh my god. Well, welcome Woo! to D&D, by the way, everyone. We're I, talking about sauce. Yep. No, we're talking about goaded with the sauce. Yeah. Now, this stream is goaded with the sauce. The fact that my megaphone works now is goaded with the sauce. Okay. So, I also have horns. Okay. They're pretty Perfect. nice. Completely missed that part, actually. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. I would have never noticed. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you noticed now. Alexander anyway. gave them to me. She was going to, like, she talked about ordering some, and I was like, I have some for a character I had for one episode, then died. These are very different than the ones Who I was going to order. I was going to order, session. like, the little oh. felt ones, but mm -hmm. these are cute, so I'll that. take them. Mm. Yeah. They work. It's all very nice. But, yeah. Hi, right. everybody. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I filmed a week's worth of videos today. Ooh, very Ooh. nice. Good job. I hey, made like hey. 3,000 t-shirts, so that was fun. Woo! Woo! Woo. Work! I, I uh, almost accidentally leaked future episode ideas in my video today because I forgot to delete my bloopers! Almost. I don't know if they're almost bloopers did. at that point, but they're yeah, something. Yeah, almost, 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 almost made a big oopsie today. But did I anyone watch them? No, because I realized it a minute before Clean. the premiere dropped and I privated it. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. So I had watch, a little panic watch. attack. Oh, no. Just a little that one. That was my not, day. Not a full one. I made and like It was like six of minutes broth. worth of like future episode ideas. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. That's a good thing. Good job. Yeah. That's always, that's always me in the campaign because I like have certain screens like along with my Google Doc of all the like stuff in the campaign. I'm afraid I'm just going to click over to it at some point midstream. And then just, just boom. Like, it's like all the secrets pop up. <gasps> Gordius yeah. is actually the big bad the whole time? Go meal, no. <laughs> oh my God. You call him Godius? I did. That was just instinctively. Too much Godius in the brain, you know. Goat. Goat meal. I am a goat. Except right now I'm a bird. Do you have the sauce, though? Yes. Okay. That's all we needed to know. Hydrogen peroxide. But who has the chalk? It's not the best That's sauce, not but a it's sauce. sauce. <laughs> it could be. Is it a dip, then? Um, <laughs> I not have... a spread. I've tried. Ah! Disclaimer, please do not I drink hydro no, Or is it a spread? Of Olympus. It's, it's a whole other, it's a juice. It's a whole other thing. But you and spread it when you here? use it, don't you? Sometimes. I poured it in my dog's oh, ear. Nice. That's why I have it in here. Oh, I just spilled my Diet Coke, I too. Rocks? Oh. Oh. Now, is that a soup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is currently. <laughs> That's okay, I got it. I mean, yep. Yeah. We're off to a wonderful start. Mm -hmm. Had like everything in mind you. of like how this is going to start off, and now I'm like, sauce, goats, <laughs> goats, oh, no. goaded yes. with the sauce. <laughs> Goat Are we going to have sauce with dinner later? Alexander? I mean, we have salad plans, but yeah. salad dressing can be. So is ranch a sauce? sauce? Is, is dressing is a sauce? Is dressing a God. Dressing sauce is or... also on the Venn diagram? Well, it's <laughs> it's a condiment, technically. Is it a subsection I, I, I of I think it's sauce. a subsection of condiment. Ooh, okay, okay so, that makes sense. So dressing goes into the uh, Venn diagram, but only between sauce and condiment. It does not enter the realm of dip or spread. But you dip uh, in the ranch. It does go into dip. It does, it's definitely a dip. But yeah, only no. Okay, it goes definitely down. Only if you're all trying to watch calories. <laughs> That's tough. This is an important there. conversation. I don't know. So how how are you Can doing? We just put a phone is it a good? Uh, having fun so far? Yeah. Yeah, chat. Well, you guys are oh. here. Yeah, I forgot about you guys. Hey. I went I went from Fortnite to this. Either or was going to be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch is lying. He 100% loves us. Yep. Mm. He told us yeah. just before this. He actually yeah, wrote he a did. song about how much he loves us. You want to repeat it uh -huh. for everyone, Mitch? Love you guys. <laughs> That's a beautiful I song. That, song. That, that was the song. It was so yeah, nice. It was it. Mm -hmm. That was it right there. So powerful. So dressing is a dressing. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Someone like Venn diagram. Wait, hey, so, can I sell yeah, you... Xylo <laughs> to a dolphin? Yes. <laughs> what about like turkey dressing? That's, That's stuffing. It's not a sauce, though, but dressing? it's dressing. So what's gravy? It dressing it's dressing if it's outside of the turkey. Yeah, if it's I'm confused. I thought dressing meant stuffing. 
It does, but only if it's not stuffed with inside the turkey. Why does it change names? It's a really dumb thing, but it, it matters, apparently. I've always called it stuffing. It's, it's stuffing no matter what. Mm -hmm. and a I'll, baby I'll is a baby inside hill. or outside of the womb, so like I don't know why it matters. Is an embryo outside the womb? That's a comparison. Know. Yeah, that's yeah. I was gonna say. Now we're getting way too political for this. Can we move yeah, that one on? Now, can we move on? <laughs> anyway, who would like to tell us what happened last episode? Uh, me. Ooh, 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 me. Me, me, me. Or not when it's developing. Me. <laughs> that's 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 what I meant. As much as I want side to do it. <laughs> uh, Kayla, go ahead. Previously. <laughs> Previously on, on, I wanted to do it. Okay, you do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pre no. Previously on Titan's Edge, we were in a cave. We went inside the butt. We touched the butt a lot. It was really not moist like you would expect a butt to be. Can we I had to see HR? We had to sneak inside the cave, which is also a butt because it's the butt of a titan. And then when we were inside, we went adventuring and Wick had really cool lights so we could see inside because it's really dark inside butts. Anyways, we continued on. An enemy sat on a flying disc and everyone else just kind of scurried along ready for the, the, the ride, you know? We explored and then we went to sleep and then a bear, roar, came and attacked us. Anemone tried to befriend the bear, but it didn't even say hi back to her. So they all had to kill it. And then Rex died, kind of. He got knocked down or whatever, but we were able to bring him back. And then everybody went back to sleep after they killed the bear, but it was a lot more of an epic fight rather than that. Anyways, they went to sleep and Anemone slept on the bear and everybody else was like, and then they woke up and then there was like lightning and it went all over the walls. There was also a creepy thing that uh, Wick heard and, or saw or felt or something. But then they went adventuring and then they found the rods that they had to do. And then Anemone turned into a bird and flew up and then they were mining an ore um, and it shocked them. Yeah, uh, those two. You know who I'm talking about, I don't know. And then uh, they got the rod and they, they made it fall and then it was really rusty, so they kept it, and then they put another rod back, and then they found a really big hole, and they were like, wow, I wonder if there's a dead body at the end of the hole. So they went to go inside of it, and everyone else was kind of just going down ropes and using, like, magic powers and stuff, and now we're stuck in this hole, and something just, like, crumbled, a, a, you know, it was moist, it, was, it went squelchy when we touched it, and now it's gonna kill us. I'm a bird. Hello. Thank you. And yeah, enough. yeah, no, that was oh, entirely accurate. <laughs> we open up in a dark room. A wooden door is on one end of the hallway and a table lit by candlelight, but not a nice romantic candlelight, no. One mildly dimming candle. As we see Shydock sitting across from what could only seem to be a guard. Why have you captured me? You know what you did. No, no, I really, I really have no idea what's going on. Witnesses saw you firing upon the stage when the big commotion happened. What are you? I just got to town last night. What? What? What are you talking about? Last night is when this thing happened. I mean, I got here three days ago. That only means that you could also be here. Fair. The overseer is pretty sure that it was you, and you weren't alone. Sir, I'm just traveling through town, trying to visit friends and such. I'm trying to get here and leave town as quick as possible. Why were I, you with I, that dwarf Tommen, then? His name's... What was his name? Tom? Tommen. He's a war yeah, criminal. I just, yeah, I was just traveling through the town, saw him on the side of the street, about to die. I was like, bro, you need some help. 
and I tried to take him to the hospital. That's when you and your men grabbed me. Hmm. Make a deception check for me. With pleasure. How's a nat 20 do for me? Natural 20 sounds fantastic to me, personally. Oh, I love to hear that. Well, it's good to see that you were trying to get him help, but he is indeed a wanted criminal. And your description matches one who has done other potential crimes. Do you know who I am? Yes then you will know that my family will hear about this. How will your family hear about this if we don't let you tell them? So you're just going to hold me here for the rest of my life? Things could get real quiet real quick. Do your worst. Hmm. I could bring the overseer into here and he could ask some of these questions if you'd like. I think I can schedule him in for a few minutes from now. Feel free to send him no, on his you way. You are on our schedule. This is not... I do have a 4 o'clock coming up, though, so if we can speed this up a, a little bit. You might be in here for a long time if you don't answer these questions. What else do you want to know? Who are you working with? I think I'm currently my own boss. Yeah. You have any acquaintances well, with you here I mean, in town? Tommen was getting pretty cool and like we were becoming become friends, but now so that I know he's a criminal, him and was bringing him for medical attention. Yeah, he can still talk. Anyone else? What's your name? My name is Jerix. Jerix, you want to be friends? I'd like that. <clears throat> then just you, then. You're my only other acquaintance. Now, what about the, uh, the larger figure with the horns? Is he with you? Large figure with horns. I can't say I know what you're talking about. One more deception check. Uh, 12. Hmm. You don't seem to want to give up much, do you? I think there's time and place for information. Right now, being held up against my will. Forgive me for not being forthcoming. Very well. I'll hold you here. Till we can find out the truth of all this. Not to mention, now we do indeed have Tommen, so you know what's going to happen to him. Yeah, well, if he did what you guys are... Well, if he must have done something bad, I guess. Indeed. We'll bring you some dinner later. And at that moment, you hear just, like, a loud knocking on the door. Come in! <laughs> the door opens. And you just see this this large Genasi figure that you remember from the stage um, just shouting to this guy, Hey, you gotta get out here. There's Very well, let's go. Not you! Something going on outside. Leave this one. And the guard runs out the door. The door slams. Have fun, Jerix. You hear a distant... Thunderclap rumble the room slightly around you. And we'll move back to the other players. You all are currently affected by the magic of Slowfall. Drifting downwards into a hole. Guiding yourself with the ropes into this deep, dimly lit cave. Some lights are swirling around you as you go. But something interesting has recently happened. One of the stalagmites reaching out of the sides of this deep cavern 
seems to have unfurled itself. With claws and teeth screeching at Rex. As you all look up, you see almost bat-like wings emerge from it. And it begins to swoop down deeper into the cave. Is anyone doing anything? We should move. Rex, Call. back up, please. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, if it goes to attack Rex, I will cast Firebolt. Could everyone please give me some initiative? Oh no, I'm a bird. <laughs> you are indeed. <laughs> They oh, are indeed yeah. a bird. Okay, so Featherfall is not concentration, so if I cast a spell... Or no, I can I concentrate prepared. on Dancing Light, I just can't do another concentration spell. I wasn't prepared for aerial combat. Mm -hmm. You are currently, okay. as best I can describe with the visual map here, um, inside a vertical battle map. <laughs> Where the heck is my token? There it is. Sick! Yep. As you see this one stalagmite that unfurled, but also many more jutting out of the walls around it. You're not quite sure which is another one of these creatures and which is a natural rock formation. Wonderful. Oh God. Cool. It's pretty wonderful indeed. <clears throat> so as everyone rolls initiative, I suppose I should as well. Uh oh. This music is very dramatic. Indeed. As it should be. Okay, so, Rex, you see this thing unfurl and begin to take off. What do you do? Uh, I am going to throw a sacred flame at him. All right. Make the, uh, or actually, it needs to make a save. What kind of save does it need to make? Uh, let me check and I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, dexterity. Very good. It shall make a dexterity save. One second. It rolls a three, so go ahead, roll your damage. Right, Five radiant second. damage. As you see this what? thing emit a little bit of flame. Um, immediately, as that happens, it was beginning to take off, but it's going to turn towards you and grab you with one of its talons. Oh, oh a whole description. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, does a 17 good. hit you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you take seven bludgeoning damage, and you feel this thing grabbing onto you. Um, it, you feel the claws reaching onto your shoulder, digging yeah. in, as you all see wings mildly engulf Rex. Awesome. <laughs> Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Uh... Anemone, you're up. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> so, remind me what the rope situation is. There, How many ropes are there? There's and probably who's... half a dozen ropes hanging down. There's more ropes than there are people at the moment. <sighs> okay. Um, if I'm going to be any help at all here, I'm going to need to demorph myself from bird and try and grab one of these ropes. So that is what I would like to do. Okay. And go back to Seder Girl. Your bird form shifts as feathers disperse and you turn back into your Seder self. You find yourself free falling as your stomach just feels it for a moment. Can you make a dexterity save to grab onto one of these ropes in time? <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> I didn't cast Featherfall on you because you're a bird. <laughs> you manage to reach out and grab one of the ropes. Your hand skids down about five feet 
as it gets a little bit of rope burn on it, but you manage to grip tightly, swing against one of the sides of the walls. You plant your foot on a uh, stalagmite that seems to kind of buckle as your foot lands on it. Okay. Um, I'll say you still have your action. Okay. I was going to ask, did any of that count as my... We'll say it's your bonus action. Okay. Um... All right. Do I assume that the one I'm standing on is alive as well, or make a nature check? Okay. Um, it felt almost exactly like a piece of stone, just crumbling slightly as your foot hits it. Okay. Um. Probably okay. How close am I to any of the other ones? Is there uh, like any that I see that are alive aside from the one attacking? The only one Rex? that's completely uh, noticeably alive is the one that's fighting Rex, and you see Rex just his legs poking out from the bottom of its wings right now. So it's almost okay. engulfing him. Um. All the ideas I have are bad ones. Yeah. I could do infestation and make a bunch of scorpions spawn or something, but then they're probably going to get Rex in the process. Um, hmm. Can I use my short bow or is that, does that require two hands? I'd say your legs are fairly dexterous. You can, you can manage. Okay. I guess we'll just go um, try and shoot the. No, I'll one say that... you have disadvantage if you use a short bow here. That's fair. Um, I don't really have much else to do unless there's one closer to me, so I'm just going to attempt to shoot it to help. Okay. Um, an attack roll. <laughs> yeah. Um, you fire yeah, and that's... it just clatters across the stone wall next to him. That's a big nope. Okay. Mm. Well. Wick, you're up. You still have control of the lights, and you feel that your uh, slow fall magic is working, but as all magic is, it is slowly dissipating and will eventually no longer be slowing down your descent. Um, I'm just gonna cast Firebolt. Okay. Wow. I assume on the... It's an attack, okay. I think. Yeah, you fire. It um, also just fires straight up into the air. You see the sides of the tunnel lit up with a bunch more different uh, stalagmites moving, but it does not manage to hit this target. Any bonus or anything from you? Um, no, I do not have a bonus. Milo, what are you up to? Uh, I see how much I can do right now. So I'll just fire. Um, I'm going to use Toll the Dead Very good. on the okay. Dark Mantle that's next, or the, the thingy, the Celag, my thingy that's next to Rex. Uh, and I'm going to change its type to fire as well. Very nice. So, please hit. Oh, that didn't do that correctly. Yeah. What kind of save does it need to make? Um, Wisdom save. Um, oh, it's just a wisdom save. Yeah, okay. The wisdom save. Yep. No attack roll, wisdom save. Yep. Forgot so, that one. Can I move roll. closer to Rex? Sure. Wow, yep. Just no, it saved. Fire. You can do a half your climbing speed, half your movement speed to climb up the rope. So. Um, okay, yeah. Big save from this thing. Okay. And. I guess that's that for now. All right. Rex, you're up. I... And it's a little harder to see the light around you as this thing's wings are wrapped around you. You see parts of its body have like almost these gnarled points coming off of them. As they begin to dig into you. Um, I don't know how this works, so I'm just going to say it. I would like to use one of my racial abilities. Okay. 
Is it what I think it is? I would hope you would think what you think it is. All right. I would um, so I believe it needs to make... <laughs> you know what? I don't think it gets to make the deck save in this <laughs> situation. <laughs> as it is wrapped literally around on me. <laughs> your mouth, concentrating. It's <laughs> so go ahead and make your roll. How to do that, but I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, you need to roll, I believe, two d six. Roll a two. As you all see from this thing, bits of smoke and fire start to light up the inside of this thing. As you can see, a little bit of the opaque membrane of its wing glimmer through, as it takes six points of fire damage. As Rex, you uh, you know that you just breathed fire directly at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fire breath. All right. Very good. Um, safe to say. It kind of recoils um, from the attack. And I think it's going to move on to a different target because it was not happy about that situation. It is going to dip down and try to latch on to Wick. So if you'd like to make an attack of opportunity, you can. Um, that would be... Assuming you have a weapon that they're ready to do so. Uh, I mean, I have my dagger. Sure. Go ahead and do that. Um, yeah. It's a miss as this thing is going to attempt to Not much do the fighter, same sorry. thing to Wick. <laughs> uh. 19. Ah. Take six bludgeoning damage as the thing begins to wrap around your head as well. As you will see a similar sign of this thing begin to engulf Wick. Um, meanwhile... Another one of them begins to uh, break free of the wall and descend on the rest of the group. This one is going to immediately um, drop down onto an enemy. Oh no. And do a similar attack. Um, I believe an eight does not hit you. No. So... You manage to like swing yourself aside on the rope as it comes swooping down, and it just passes by you, um, just by a little bit. Okay, Anemone, you're up as this thing is moving, and you just barely avoided it. <sighs> um, since it's moving away from me, do I get an attack of opportunity? It did not move that far away yet. Okay. Um. I'm... Hmm. I'm gonna try and stab it with my dagger. All right. Dagger attack. So, hiya. That is a hit. You managed to pierce through this thing, and although it, you know, had the texture of rock when, um, you know, it was stepped on earlier, you managed to pierce through it and um, cut straight through the membrane of its wing. Nice. All right. Next up, we have Wick. You, you have a problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of want to set off a firebolt in its mouth and see what happens. Excellent. But I don't know if that's smart. Because <laughs> it's a ranged attack, so would it have disadvantage then? Technically, yes. But it's also impossible to miss. I guess the question is, is it like grabbing your arm properly? So I'll just say it's a straight attack in this okay. situation. Because it's a target that's almost all around you. But, you know, it is restraining you a little bit. And that's a hit. As this thing runs to avoid the, the fire previously and immediately gets struck by another gout of flame. I want to stick my hand in its mouth and just let mm -hmm. it off. <laughs> you absolutely do. As you see this thing almost light up from the inside as a fireball shoots straight into it. It coughs Let go of me! Ugh. Everyone, please just descend! Please! <laughs> I'm gonna... It's uh, Well, can I... Am I restrained? Is that the condition? Um, you are not fully no? restrained. Um, y you are grappled by this thing, so you cannot move at the moment. Okay. Unless you want to, like, it... drop. You have slow fall on, so... Wouldn't be the worst thing. 
Yeah. I like I can't willingly move, but if I mm-hmm. move a slow fall, then I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. That's my turn, I guess. Okay. Milo. Uh okay. I'm going to use my bonus action. To poof. <laughs> Uh, face step into the center of the room, okay. and down as far down the rope as I can get. Yep. <laughs> um, There's more rope continuing deeper. I just didn't. I assume so. Just yeah. that's about that's full thirty I can get. Yep. Um, which means if there was any, they do have to make uh a, a, a check, or else they're feared. <laughs> um, I'm not feared. Sorry. Uh, yeah, feared. So, so what did you use? It, uh, face oh, step. Yeah. It's my bonus action. Yeah. It's my it's my racial trait. Okay. Where is it? Where does it say what was the? Hmm. I will say that um, as you face step away from the stalagmites near you, none of them seem to have been affected. Okay. Cool. Just just letting you know that if if yep. they yeah, it's up to you, but. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. If I mean, they were, if they were aggroed, roll some secret yeah. dice. That yeah, totally means something. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. And yeah. I'm mm-hmm. gonna cast Toll the Dead on the one that I tried to before. Okay. I'm gonna change the damage type to fire. Again. Yep. This thing does not uh, like the fire. Eh, I can tell. Yep. So, try it again. It'll make its wisdom saving throw. Please fail. Ah, it you. fails, and Wonderful. you get the uh, full damage ah, of Toll the Dead you. because it has now been struck by two separate attacks of fire. Yeah, it's just a D12. Okay, yeah, there's no there's no additions here. Mm-hmm. Well, it's one D8 D- normally, or if in this case, it's D12 one D12. for dam because it's already damaged. Yeah. Yep. Boom! Wow. Well, All right, two damage. <laughs> the scale continues to slide downwards for you guys, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, at this moment, you all begin to see, you know, another stalagmite shake from up above, and some rocks fall loose and begin to tumble downwards. Can you each make a dexterity save to oh, avoid no. rocks from hitting you? Oh, great. As the lair so action comes into play. Wah, wah, wah. All right, who are we missing? Me, hold on. Right, Melodious and Anemone, you each take two damage as a rock hits you. Ow! All right. Uh, by the way, I forgot this a moment ago, but Wick, can you give me a concentration check for when this thing grabbed you? Oh, yeah. Oh no, we're about to go blind. Just to keep everyone in <laughs> mind, uh, there's a feather fall effect keeping everyone from plummeting to their doom. However, well, feather fall a... isn't concentration. I'm just trying to scare the audience, okay? Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, you yes! scared me. We're going it's to just... fall to our doom soon. It's just more like in like five more turns, you have to recast that, or else we are all going to plummet. No, I know. Okay. She's just choosing uh... not to. Uh, yeah, I mean, plummeting's not a bad choice right now. I'm gonna be honest. If we plummet and get away from them, then I can cast it before we hit the ground. Exactly. Um, sorry, I'm trying to see if I have like advantage or something like that um, on concentration checks, or if I'm immune to magical you effects. You shouldn't and be. I don't think that I am. Yeah. Trust me, sorry. I tried with my bard to be immune to that kind of stuff. <laughs> I did some good work, but I was never fully immune. <laughs> okay, yeah, easy save. Yeah, you still got your lights up. And I assume as... You know, at any rate that people are descending, you have the lights kind of joining you along the way. Yeah, there's like, there's four of them, so like, they're spread out. Very good. Rex. <laughs> you no longer Hello. have one attached to you. Yay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no Murder. Yeah. Murder. Help. Sorry. Help. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to shoot a uh, sacred flame at the one that is grabbing Wick currently. Okay. That is, oh man, what a save it needs to make. Man, oh man. Oh no. Oh, no. It manages it's... to avoid that dangerous damage. How terrifying. Anything else? 
That's, uh, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> all right. Uh, this thing is going to attempt to once again squeeze onto the head of Wick. Just grasping at you. And it has advantage. Ah. Oh, it's going to bite me. Yeah, six more damage as you feel this thing latching onto your skull at this point. Ouch. Feel the glass of your goggles beginning to strain as this thing presses against him. Don't uh, break those! They're nice! Meanwhile, Rex, surprise! You have a friend from above! Man. <laughs> mm -hmm. And a uh, familiar away. concept to you, it is going to... No, 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 go away. Double try to latch onto please. you. Oh, Does the 12 hit you with that bad yep, armor barely. on? <laughs> barely. Oh, man. No. Okay. Man, me not wearing armor is screwing me so hard right now. <laughs> I, I, sure is, buddy. <laughs> you take six more bludgeoning yeah. damage. Uh, I'll get chainmail armor. All right, we're going to the land of lightning and thunder. <laughs> what? Um, let's see. One well, night, you guys. Not looking so hot right now. It's <laughs> uh, just rough. Sorry. And now, Anemone, you can make an attack of opportunity as this one's going to pretty much gun it towards Milo at this oh, point. Oh, yay. All right. <laughs> Hi-ya. It is a miss. Oh. Oof. But the attack on Milo, however, is Yeah, 13. yeah. No, that hits. That hits. All right. A very consistent six damage as this yay. thing is clutching mm -hmm. onto you. That's that number. <laughs> okay. Uh, at this point... Um, Rex, the one that's grabbing onto you, you see, um, through its wing, a little breach of light pops through as a piece of shrapnel almost pierces right through its wing from up above. Could I get a, uh, attack roll, please, Mr. Shydock? Hmm? Burr, 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 burr. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he has surprise, so it's a sneak attack, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> as you yeah, see, so the sixteen totally hits them. Yeah. Yep. Yay. As um, a rock pelts directly through this thing, and you see it begin to uh, fall downwards. Wait, can you make a dexterity saving throw as a body's plummeting in your direction? Uh, yeah. Watch out! I can't. You managed to save yourself from this thing hitting you. Okay. As it falls down in the cave. You don't quite hear a thump. Just not a sound. Hmm. Um, Shy Doc, you can go ahead and roll initiative now. Very nice. In fact, kind of perfect. Yeah, literally right yeah. exactly where he just took his turn. Yeah. Exactly. All right, very nice. And the one who is joining you will also be rolling their initiative. Okay. Very nice. So it seems that some others have made their way into the cave. But for now, Anemone, it is your turn. Oh, boy. Um. Hmm. I would like to cast Cure Wounds on my good old dragon pal. Um, that is a uh, touch spell, so you do have to be oh. get in range of him. There are ropes that you could potentially <laughs> climb. Swing, across. swing, so rope to rope. You can swing. You can I'm climb. I'm coming, <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Make an acrobatics check to uh, make your way over to him effectively. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry. While free falling, grabbing onto ropes, and kicking across a cave wall. I got you. I hope I fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as you're um, attempting to um, get over to Rex, you seem to. Lose grip. Yep. Can I do anything else? Can I try and cast my... Yeah, I'll say you can do... Yeah. That's Yeah, what do you got? 
Um, I was just gonna try and be bird again. Yeah, you can definitely turn back into a bird. Um, okay. Without yeah. So yeah. Before you, you plummet. Slow fall. So you would be. No, I don't, because I was a bird. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the I... worst person to have to climb across the cave to him. Um, well, Rick, you're up. Um, can I? I want to break the grapple. If okay. I can. Make a strength check. I'm great at those. Mm -hmm. You're not great enough at those. No. <laughs> you try to push this thing out, but it's just grasping you too tightly. As, as you descend, it's like slowly descending with you, just holding on to you. Sick. Love that. Um, That's your action. action yes. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything else. Let me quick gander. <laughs> no. Milo, what are you planning to do? How how big is the cave? Like in terms of width? It's like twenty to thirty feet, depending on the area. So you're saying that the 15 foot cone, I could probably not hit the walls. Yeah, you can avoid most of it with a 15 foot if cone. I pointed it vertically, mm -hmm. pick upwards. I'd say okay. so. Cool. So I'm gonna just uh, yeah, use my burning hands on this this uh, creepy crawly that's on me right now. Okay. So. I'm Go gonna roll and fire this thing. There's an additional upwards. save. Uh, yeah. So it's damage, and then they have to make a DC 14 dex. And I think they take half. Yeah. Yeah, um, they passed. All right. Do I need so. to make another concentration check? Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Cave's as light as it's ever been. Um, but yeah, this thing does take six damage as you shoot your burning not, hands. Not sure how flammable rock birds are, but... Just in case. Any flammable things are lit up. That's right. So you all notice as the ropes beneath you begin to smolder. Oh, and no. <laughs> ah. Didn't think that one through, did you? No, didn't think that one through. I love the burning smell of rope in the morning. <laughs> I'm glad I am burb. <laughs> Trying my damnedest to keep my spells locked. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, so, as uh, before this turn, Shida, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me? How do the five work? Um, a five is indeed a thing that happens. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, it is. You Barkel forget I actually team. have advantage on all wisdom saves uh, no, because I'm awesome. No, strangely, you don't. No, <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to tell you what's happening just yet, so fair enough. Um, so from up above, um, an arrow is going to come down to try to pierce at one of these things. As, ooh, <laughs> the most wonderful crit for six damage um, comes raining down onto this guy, the one next to uh, Wick. Cool. Um, Rex, you're up. Um, what do I have here? Um, yeah, I'm just going to use a sacred flave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see that the um, one next to you and Wick has sustained a lot of damage. Yeah, that's the one I'm aiming at. Very good. Please. All right, all the Please. deck saves these up. Oh, wrong button. Let me uh, click the right one. And yeah, you managed to deal full damage. 
as this thing engulfs in flame and starts to crumble beneath it. Yay. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Um, I don't know if anyone's looking beneath them, uh, but the area um, where Milo is becomes engulfed in darkness. Despite the dancing lights, you cannot quite see what's beneath you until the burnt ends of a smoldering rope crawls up slightly closer. Oh. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, meanwhile, uh. the last of the dark mantles um, descends upon Shydock. Does a 14 hit you? Uh, my AC is 14. So yeah. Then it does indeed hit for eight bludgeoning. You see it grab onto you as you look up from shooting a shot down below. Oof. Um, but the good news, it's your turn. Wonderful. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, I, I would like to take one of my fire pellets out of my pack and just smack it right up against the dark mantle. Okay. Like casting fire blast onto it. Yep. Or fire bolt. Very good. Make your uh, attack roll. Yeah, it's a hit. <laughs> you know, see a slight damage. poof of smoke as this thing takes two fire damage. Anything else? Ah, uh, that's all I got. Anemone, you uh, you're a bird. <laughs> I am bird. <laughs> Can I cast spells nope. whilst? Absolutely not. I you can attack <laughs> as a bird <laughs> with my beak. <laughs> yep, yeah. I'm a crow. Yep. Um. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Actually, I have an idea. Yeah. I don't think Rex is going to like it, though. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm going to fly over to Rex. Okay. And I'm going to try and demorph and land on his shoulders. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> um, you do indeed demorph and land on Rex's shoulders. Rex, were you holding on to any of the ropes at this point? <laughs> I believe I was last. Okay, year, fantastic. I think I was Make a on. strength saving throw. Oh, yes. As you feel your weight. The healer with the immaculate increase. strength. Ah, don't have a negative in it at all. Nope. Free strength. Let's go. Free oh, no. Free strength. Uh -huh. You feel your grip loosen as you begin to fall. Not quite <laughs> at full free fall state, but pretty fast considering you're supposed to be slow falling right now. Hmm. Oh, think about this feet. Don't have to worry about the burning ropes now. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta worry about Nemony on my shoulder. Can I still heal him, or was that my whole um, turn? Um, not yet. You are. Yeah, go ahead. You can feel oh. free to do so. All Here you, you go, buddy. <laughs> As we slowly fall. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get nine points of healing. Um, and like. Helps I'll say you get ten <laughs> points of healing, in fact, but one point of discomfort. Well, yes. So. <laughs> Next up, Wick. <laughs> one point of fear. <laughs> Wick, you are no longer engulfed by one of these creatures. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to disengage. Okay. And I'm going to go to the middle, and I'm going to move as far as I can. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I just want to say as a fun aspect of this um, encounter, you've back. disengaged from nothing. Well, this guy, I was here. Mm -hmm. Sure were. Okay, could have. It's just a stalagmite. Looks like all the I know. Hours. I just want to make sure that no other guy tries to grab me on the way down. I'm and just proud of myself. That's all. Sorry. I think I think <laughs> disengage lasts until my next round. Yeah, you can pass. So they have just about anything. Disadvantage if they try to attack me. <laughs> No, dodge creates disadvantage if they attack you. Disengage oh, just okay. to avoid them um, invoking an attack of opportunity. Okay, so never mind. I'm just going to mm -hmm. Milo. go as far as I can. Milo, it's dark. In fact, Wick, um, as you get down into this darker area, you, you seem to, like, your vision just goes dark for a moment. And it remains dark, despite the fact that you had a light following along with you. 
Milo? Are Milo, you here? You're here. Mm. You're here. Mm. You hear a muffled grumbling, Milo, it's your turn. Uh, all right. Well. <clears throat> yeah, this thing didn't, you know, chomp at you, you know, last turn. Yeah, no, Everything no, got even darker. Thing... Oh, yeah, well, you know, I can't see anyway somehow, so. Time to plunge into the darkness. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let go of the rope and just free fall for Excellent. 30 feet. Yep. You fall then... very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm going to try and take, um, uh, I'm going to use Toll the Dead on this thing and change the damage type to fire. Very well. Make the roll or make the damage. Uh, yeesh. Where is me? Okay. Oh, wait, it's wisdom anyway. I made the wrong thing. Yeah. So many saving throw attacks. Yeah, it takes full damage. Right. Please roll well. Eh, it's not bad. Yeah, <laughs> better than a two. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you I just smell the slight bit of smoke, but you don't quite see the flame in it and burn this thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can everyone make an additional dexterity check for me? As rocks are once again falling down the cave. Danger. No, Zalo, I don't think I can. Oh, I also just realized a rock thing. Like... <laughs> wow. wow. Hey, yeah, this, this time you guys are ready for it. <laughs> now I will say, Melodius and Wick, you are yeah. at disadvantage because you don't see the rocks coming, but somehow mm. you manage to avoid them. And it's just for all luck, really. Yeah, at this point, <laughs> there's always so many rocks, and you know it's a wide cavern, so nobody manages to get hit with the I'd rocks. I'd say it was a roll of the dice. Mm -hmm. Shada, can you make me another wisdom save? I don't like this. 19. Great. Anyway, uh, Sparkelius is going to shoot another arrow down below. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Does he see any good targets down there? He... Yeah, shoot at what? Mm, yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Uh, he's going to ready his shot in case he sees, sees something uh, that looks quite shootable. Would he not see the one right on me? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's nah. Cool. He's looking down below. He's trying to help them. You're good. He's very. You just got here. You'll be fine. <laughs> Rex, you're up. Uh, cool. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> enemy on my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Dark meal. Uh. Hmm. I see something here. Uh, um. uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to just do it. I'm gonna do a uh, sacred flame on the one that is attacking Shydock. Okay. Please. So it will make a 400th uh, dexterity save. <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah. yeah it's like it's getting just wise. out of range of you. And Makes you sense since I have you. someone on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. It's on someone's <laughs> shoulder. Someone's on your shoulders. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's kind of over the edge. You're welcome. All right. Um, so these things are going to continue to do their thing. Milo, you feel a crushing sensation around your head. Yeah, been there before. As you take five points of damage for this head advantage. In its current state. Ah, yeah, because it's already grappling me. Yep. And oh, Shydock. Dubious. You managed to keep this thing from uh, getting any more of a grip on you. It just currently continues to hound you and flap aggressively at you. Um, let's see. That is all of that going on. Shydock, your move. How much would you say one of these ways? <laughs> Only one way to find out. What should I roll? Um, what would you like to do for me? So in particular, I'm trying to cast Catapult. So does it weigh between one to five pounds? I'll say you have to attempt Catapult. Okay. It looks heavier because it's a big rock structure type thing. 
but it's also kind of like a bat. So it's a it could go either way for you, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to attempt to like rip. It's, it's on my head, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to basically try to attempt to rip it off my face and just throw it down the cavern. Okay. Make a strength. Uh, no, I'll say you can just use your catapult ability. That makes sense. Okay, so okay. dexterity save of twelve. Yeah, I'll say um, it does manage to get uh, popped off your head. It's only going to take half damage because you know, it's not technically you know, hitting anything, but it does get taken off you and tossed into the open cavern. Perfect. And then I would like to end my turn. Very good. And then Mamini. I'm a num num <laughs> Um, you're no longer a bird. You see one more of these things up above you. Mm -hmm. I would like to attempt to shoot at it. All now right. that I have both of my hands, thanks yeah, to do. a certain friend of mine. No disadvantage um, here. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Not for you, at least. screaming wee as they plummet to death. Yeah. Doing great. Alright. They'll just flow a little bit. They'll fall a little okay, bit slower yeah. than like that's rough. Or that is a hit. Arrow goes straight through this thing. Um it seems to be quite damaged. Full of holes and battered about, but still mm -hmm. moving. Alright. Wick. Uh it's dark. Uh-huh. Um so I heard Milo fighting something. Yeah, there's sounds there. going on there. They're all kind of like muffled and whatnot, but there's stuff going on. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll move down. Five, fifteen. Do it's like pitch black. Like what I know if this is magic. Actually, as you move down that far. Um, as the light follows you, you can see the area just beneath where your head is enlightened once again. So you only see yourself in Milo and this creature beneath you now. Everything up above you, pitch black. Um, I'm gonna fire, um, uh, firebolt at the one Very attacking good. Milo. Alright. That is a hit. Let's go... I'll just fling it out. <laughs> like, Milo, are you okay? <laughs> just thumbs up as he's plummeting. Yep. <laughs> Tattered, bruised, even more holes in his clothing than what are you doing, after Milo? the bear fight. Thumb in the air. <laughs> What's your next move? Is is it dead or is it still on me? It's still on you. Uh um, one more time. Let's ring the bell. Alright. Hold the dead. dead. And does the dead toll? Please, I beg of thee. Yay! It does oh. indeed. As you see this thing crumble and fall off of you in a coat of embers. Yay. So you no now longer I'm see anything plummeting. attacking you. But yes, you see Wick <laughs> hanging by the burnt end of a rope above you. Whoops. Uh, what's the can I see plumbing. what's below me I guess as I'm plummeting a little bit not much All right, cool more darkness is it oh it's still just a giant hole All yeah, right, now cool. it's like the regular darkness that was the hole once before uh is there more ropes around at all uh not at this point the ones that were around you burnt and then collapsed to the ground because All right. or yeah well nah. whatever's beneath you so no more mm -hmm. ropes seem to be in existence down there. Not a good thing we didn't need them. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to try and write myself. Mm -hmm. Like to go vertical, at least. Sure. Instead of, instead of just plummeting. First. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, going to keep falling. 30 more feet. Wonderful. Uh, Rex, can you make me a wisdom saving throw? Uh, 
beautiful. Yeah, you feel something, like, trying to creep into the back of your mind. Almost, um, whispering to you, Jump. But, that's all it is, just a faint whisper to you. Oh. Good thing that's it nice. didn't whisper to Anemone. <laughs> 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 Bye, guys! We <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we didn't have one when I rolled out five. God dang it, Van Halen, stop! <laughs> Okay, okay. Next up, I guess Barkelius can help by shooting at the one that's attacking, uh, that was just attacking Shydock. So he is going to fire another arrow now that it's in a good range to do that. With his longbow, he pulls out pew pew. Um, he hits it as another arrow pierces through this thing. Oh. Rex, your move. How are you? See the familiar side of an Sacred <laughs> flame. Are you the one who whispered in my ear? <laughs> what whisper? Okay. Sacred flame? Yep. Sacred flame. Alright. Once again, it manages to evade your flames. The one time I actually, like, roll a good damage. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention <laughs> to the damage. Because honestly, it doesn't really matter. Anyway. Yeah. Shydock, how you doing? Uh, hey. Hi, I would like to slingshot the one that's been attacking me. Cool. Can you make me a wisdom saving throw before you do so? No. <laughs> well, what if I just refuse? What are you going to do? I can tell you what happens if you refuse. Kicks from call. You, you can you <laughs> choose not to it's make a uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you also feel something creeping in the back of your mind suggesting jump. But you don't. I, I, I look back at uh, Spar uh, what is Spar Spartacus? Sure. Sparkelius, that's what it is. Spartacus. Kind of right. Spartacus. Put the Spartacus. names on the screen Why for Why are you telling me to jump? Well, I didn't say it's very like tiny Sparka. fun. Uh. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so slingshot at the one that was attacking Go me. Go for it. Five. Yeah, you fire. Crumbles against the stone. That's Nemini. All I got. Me? Mm-hmm. You just hit this <gasps> thing with an arrow earlier. Can you hit it again? Do I not get a whisper? No. Darn it. <laughs> I wanted to jump. <sighs> um Nemini chooses to fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I totally Wee. would too. Especially Wee. after using both her wild shapes for the day already. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just shoot him again. Okay. You fire, and this thing immediately, as it, um, misses the, uh, rock that was sent towards it, is pierced by your arrow, and it begins plummeting downwards. <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, Wick and Milo, can you make me a, uh, dexterity save at disadvantage? Uh, yay, sure. As a creature plummets from above you and you don't oh. quite see it coming. Hey. Uh -oh. oh my god! <laughs> it smacks into both of you, not quite dealing any damage, but... Um, <laughs> Wick, you are certainly no longer holding on to anything. Oh, and wrong. Milo, unfortunately, you're no longer upright. You're back to free fall and backside down. Yeah, now I'm just cartwheeling down yeah, again. There's a bit of a spin going on. A real I sloppy just spiral. You. <laughs> oh, touch, touch. Yeah. <laughs> So it's pinballing off the walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm aware for right now, Featherfall, I think, still has like maybe two or three rounds left on it, I think. Here I go. Yep. Oh. Come on, come back. Welcome come back. back to me, Internet. Come, come back to me. Come on. Your computer right, isn't happy. Oh, I guess so. Um. Anyway, the uh, combat has essentially ended, but it's still a precarious situation. So, uh, what's everyone up to? Shydock, how's it look up there? What are you doing? Um, hmm. So we're trying to go down this... Correct. Not... That's what they all up. seem to be doing. You just got here. Yeah. Sparkelly has just led you into here, showing you 
you know, the vague direction they might have went. And I mean, then I kind of want to jump. But oh. that's a bad idea. Is it? Yeah, it's a bad idea. Alright. I think it's a good idea. That's what you think. I think it's a grand idea. It's a good idea until it's a bad idea. I jump. All right. Shydock immediately uh, jumps, and Anemone and Rex, you can see him begin to plummet. What's uh, what are you doing, Anemone and Rex, as you see this happen? I'm just chilling. Okay. Holding on to the horns like a bicycle. Yeah, She's no, finally try. gotten what she wanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you two are falling, ride. um, but not at a full speed rate. Eventually, Shydock's pace begins to catch up with you. And meanwhile, mm-hmm. would would I be able to try and grab Shydock with my tail? Ooh, go ahead and make a dexterity save. Okay. To grab it. Mama Rex coming down. <laughs> Like, all, all, all I know is I see Shadok falling, so my yep. immediate thought process is try to grab. <laughs> okay. It's, it's... Nope. <laughs> yeah, you reach out to wow. grab him, but just as he's moving, you know, he's just a little too fast and you can't get a good grip on him. Can I try and grab him, too? Sure, make a uh, dexterity save at disadvantage. And I'm going I'm to get some heavy whiplash. <laughs> no, she's not a burb. No, no never mind. Currently not a burb. Yeah, so you I'm, both... If... You know, yeah, you both see Shyduck uh, drop down beneath you as you s- begin well. to slowly descend. <laughs> Hi, guys! Bye, guys! <laughs> guys, we only have a couple more seconds. I need to recast. Get down here, please. You look up. On the way! Still a wall of darkness, but you all hear Wick calling from down below. Uh, Milo, Wick, what are you doing? Uh, I'm... Uh... There's no ropes, right, down nope. here? Um, I guess we're just free-falling, then. Um, yeah. If I can try and like go towards the wall and like I don't know like just find a rock to hold on to so I don't go down so that if they come down I can maybe get everybody. What do you do to try to propel yourself across empty space? Kicks off Milo. <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. It's a I try. I try and doggy paddle. <laughs> to the wall. Make whatever check you want. Strength, dexterity. I don't care. To see um, if that works. I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna go with Dex because it's <laughs> roll me a deception check. See if this works. <laughs> Might be similar results. You try and you can't quite get up to the side of the wall just by uh, ah! straight momentum of air. Milo, you doing anything? <laughs> uh, I mean, sure. I have an idea. Is it a is it a good one? Well, maybe. Um. So I'm gonna try and write myself again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, to do so. And totally like the Silver Surfer, I'm gonna cast Tensor's Floating Disc underneath me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta drop Tensor's Floating Disc for me. I don't wanna. I don't want to pancake you that easily. Um, um Yeah, 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 sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know, you got a one inch thick disc that floats a uh, hmm above the ground in an unoccupied space. Well it's above it's above ground and it's unoccupied, so that space is fine, great. Five hundred pounds, yeah, you're less than five hundred pounds. It just will stop course. three feet above the ground. Yeah. So does it hit like max velocity going down and then it's like an elevator? I, yeah. I get to control how it moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, but it's, no, it, 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 it oh no, it's like it's three feet in yeah. I just stop. Yes. Yeah, it you... says the disc is mo- mm-hmm. immobile more when immobile. it's tw- within twenty feet of you. Yeah, but it's not gradually immobile. Is the problem here? <laughs> yeah, it's like instantly. It's not a but I'm, stop. but I'm also slow falling. You are still slow Wouldn't, falling. wouldn't you constantly be just 20 feet away from it and never actually touching it, though? No, it doesn't go away no, from it. No, because I'm putting it underneath him. me. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So he, he can walk he up to it, it he but he can't drop, move jump. it like that. Yeah. You um, right, you right. So, yeah, as you're falling, a uh, flat platform appears beneath you as you fall down at slow fall and manage to land on it. Okay. 
Uh, are we just allowed to do anything we want right now? Because I have one more thing I'd like to do. Go for it. Uh, so seeing that we definitely failed grabbing the uh, thing, can I can I use burning hands to propel myself? Make a intelligence check. That's probably smart. Yeah. I try and grab one of the discs, seeing that he made it. I'm like, oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, just on. Yeah. Yeah. You're both slow falling at the regular slow fall pace, so I say you can okay. manage to do that. Cool. Hi. Okay, then we'll just we'll just do that then. Don't no worry. <laughs> we'll do that. I cool. uh, will let them. it be known. Shadok will start aiming for the disc as well. As Yo, falling. don't aim for the disc. You don't You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, you also don't see us right now. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are not visible. Um, But you know what? Suddenly, they do become visible, Shydock. They're about <laughs> 60 feet beneath you right now. What do you do? I start aiming for the disc. All right, he's aiming for the disc. Wick, Milo, you doing anything? You see uh, Shydock appear on. I'm above holding you. On. I'm going to hold uh, on to the side of the disc in case it flips. Yeah. No, no, the disc make, won't move. Ma I'm going to make Trust room me. for him. Yeah. Maybe? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, whew, that's getting real close to the weight limit. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be checking character sheets in a quick moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, yeah actually, um, I'm going to um, just um, um, not um. let him. I'm going to. I don't think. <gasps> He's falling. We'll fall, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. You've never he measured the weight of your fair. companions. He jumped. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Yeah. So Kelly just told me to jump. The best thing I do is prepare to catch him. We'll we'll do like the basket weave with the arms to prepare to catch okay, him. Okay. So you two hold on to the floating <laughs> disc, attempting to catch I'm him. Like cheer like, like cheer Oh no. <laughs> yeah. The, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Shadok, anything else before you uh, smack um, into an object that holds up to 500 pounds? Yeah, up to specifically. No. Okay. Uh, forgive me one moment. You guys feel free to talk about whatever you want. I'm just going to look at uh, what people have input on their character sheets for cool. no particular Cool. So assuming reason. this all works out properly, Michael can jump off the uh, disc, slow fall down, the this would fall him down 20 foot. 50 plus. I have another fall. I just need all of you guys to be within well, a what's the, what's, what's the range of feather fall? Of a dragon. The idea Ooh, of the plate was to stop us so that everyone could catch up again. The yeah, idea of the you. sauce is that it's goaded. Yes, exactly. 270. So <laughs> I shouldn't cast sleep on us. Got it. 270 plus 170. Feather? Oh, it's 60 feet. It's 60 feet. I think Feather it's just under. So Shydog is just under. Goat sauce. Goat if you sauce. Land on Goat the disc sauce. And they fall. We're, we sauce. stay stationary. As soon as they start to free fall, Goat. I can cast it on all of us. We could jump off. That's, if they start falling, I'm though. thinking. Sauce. But that's. You, uh, I'm dead if I don't get slow fall. <laughs> That's not goaded with the sauce. <laughs> on this? Uh, oh, 100%. 40, 50, We're gonna like, 60, I'm falling at least 100 foot 80, at max velocity. I'm dead. Yeah, you are you have jumped at terminal velocity. Like, unless... Yeah, unless slow fall is cast on me, I'm dead. I mean... Was that 1d10 every 10 feet? We're, one, we're going to help break her. So that's still... After, so that's 90 feet times 96? I have 18 HP. Average of two or less. I mean, you tell me the odds here. Gosh dang it. I'll cast Featherfall again before he hits. Wait, no. We can break his fall with, by no, catching him. No, we can't. That's I don't point. think your he's twig arms can catch me. He's at velocity. If we don't catch him, he's dead dead. Like, yeah, dead. He's, he's yeah, gonna make dead, a stain dead. on your disc. Seconds seconds to decide to bring him back. I wouldn't worry about the disc. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a but huge stain. The thing told him to jump. I think he'll be fine. I'm casting Featherfall on Shydock as soon as I see him. Okay. I kind of want to see what happens if you don't, though. Well, let's just... I am. Rex and Emily just... trust the voice to, in our head. Uh, plummet. I'm just gonna be out of spell slots. I got nothing right. left for spell slots. Okay, as you want to see what would have happened inside? Okay, here's the roll. Okay, gosh, if you don't want it, the fun of it, okay? I will have you know that is more than my max HP. Oh, no way, really? What? Hold on. What's your max HP? What's your max HP? 27. 
fun fun fun. 18 right now. Yeah, no, it would not flat out kill you me. You would not have flat you out. You would be unconscious. <laughs> you I would be a very broken Zao, nest Please remember this. It would only be 96. <laughs> as soon as Anemone and Rex come into the first 10 recap, feet, don't I'm count. I'm going to cast on all of us. <laughs> I so estimated this time I anyway. I just cast it. I, the second time I cast it, I just cast it on Shydock, but when I see them, I'm going to cast on everybody, and then I'm going to jump, and we're going to keep going. I'm a that's my last one, and I don't know how long this or how deep this cave is. We have like what was it, six hundred feet on one slow fall. How are we gonna get out of here? We well, just keep falling. Yeah, this falling, was fun. Falling. Well, you know, but yeah, shout out to you. Burn. You slowly, I'll just ten nothing. feet before you hit this platform, fall and then just land on it safely. Why did you jump? Spark Kelly has told me to jump. We... I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, we were fighting these the... things that attack. He's like, he's like, jump. It'd be fun. I'm like, all right. We, uh, Where? I mean, in his defense, I am fine. You, you saved me. I don't me. know how Sparkelius is getting down here because I, I'm, 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 I can't. I can't anymore. Sparkelius, you can <laughs> jump. It's fine. No, I don't think I will jump right now. <laughs> Please don't. Echo is down Goat the Meal up the there? He no. is up here. Oh, hi, goat meal. <laughs> he always does have the, the darndest things. He has such a way with words. Anyway, um, so yeah, how you, you got then? Have slow fall reapplied to you. You're now just casually falling down this dark cavern with no ropes. Have the dragon and I gone past the really dark part so we can see yep. everybody Everyone again? Everyone is in view again. As nice. you guys sped past, you caught up like with um, the rest, and now you're all just going um milo do you have the um disc just trailing by above you at this point or no no nah, nah, actually yes the the, mm -hmm. the disc is my umbrella yeah so like no in more almost rocks. mary poppins it's... sense you see milo and the rest mary of them poppins. slowly falling down i'm mary poppins y'all <laughs> with a with an umbrella just vaguely trailing 20 feet above their heads love it solid umbrella that makes sure there's no rocks that hit me you see some rocks crumble and break off the piece of it, and pebbles scatter across you. Yeah, not happy about this. Floating down to the so... bottom now. Are you guys okay? okay? Okay, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We're uh -huh. good. <sighs> How long does slow fall last? Not long enough. A minute, and she casted it a third time just now. Yes. Yeah, so... You can go 600 feet. On are we... Spell. Time wise, though, are we that far from the bottom? Isn't there like you're at a set pace? Yeah, you don't see it's it. It's 60 Nothing? feet. It's 60 feet. Per okay, okay, so like 10 turns, 600 feet. Okay. Yeah, it, it's actually not like you. super slow fall. I thought you slowed slow down, down like your legs. It's like, like it... you were like running in air, like downwards. I got you. Yeah. Okay. It's like fe feather falling would be mm -hmm. probably better. Yeah. yeah. Might as a feather. Yeah. Well, that's why I thought we were going very slow. That's why I was like, oh. Yeah, I mean, technically a feather falling is going to go real slow. But very yeah. slow. Yeah. This does go faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Which just means we're not going to break our ankles and the rest of our yeah, body heck. when we land. I'll say another 30 so seconds fun. pass and you still don't see a floor beneath you. <laughs> 30 fun. seconds pass? Yeah. This Are is fun. Are we sure there is a bottom to this? So, in the next 30 seconds, I'd like to take my coat off and fashion it into a parachute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You got any, uh, you know, crafting proficiencies that might help you with this situation, or are we just doing ah, it? no, oh, okay, um, 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 I am going to take any rod of any, like, if anyone has, like, does anyone have a staff? Would you say a parachute weighs more than ten pounds? About, yeah, about ten pounds. Could I? Minor conjuration, a parachute. Yeah, sure. Hell yeah. So I, I, just, I reach in my bag, grab a parachute, and just start floating. Do you just pull it out of nowhere, or do you very visibly do something magic? No, I, I reach into my, my satchel and just pull it out. I'm going to take one of the rods, of a move, immovable rods, okay. and I want to try and like tinker something onto it that we all like have a handle. Like take fabric... Or like rope or something, and like tie multiple things to it. Okay, that, like, so you can hang all hang down. from the same rod, essentially. And then I want, I want to like, I mean, it 
Yeah, I want to like, as we're like floating down and I've tied all these like new ropes to it right beside each other, I want to like click the rod into place right on the side. So like, if I can like try and stick it in like a crevice that like would also kind of hold the Titan as well, but like I would stick it in like one of the crevices as like one of the places for the immovable rods and then I would grab onto the rope and do the slow fall tactic and hand I would hand out all the ropes individually. <laughs> okay. Um it's like this like when you hang sheep from a, a rope. Yeah. <laughs> you are proficient in weaver's tools to you know tie all these things together. So <laughs> or tinker's oh. tools, one or the other. Same uh same difference. Mm. So uh, here, I've set I have up, so Tinker's they'll... tools, I'm proficient in Weaver's tools. <laughs> yep. I am just making sure that they are set up properly so you actually get your um, bonuses for it. Oh, thanks. Yep. <laughs> I think I just threw them in there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Feel free to go ahead and click one of those to see how effectively you put this contraption together um, while slowly falling. Not, nah, you know, moderately speed falling. Um, I think Weaver's... Uh, yeah, bottom left first. section. Either of those would kind of apply to the situation. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. see really quickly... Just like a couple loose loops and some rope are thrown around. A good knot is tied around this um, immovable rod. And you're all tossed an end of uh, rope. I'll use some of my extra belts if I have any to like extra secure them. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just like, I'll hand out the ropes to people. And then like when I find a good spot, I'll just like click it into place. Okay. So as you're falling, um, does everyone take uh, one of these ropes? Yes. Yeah. 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 I take one, but I stay on the dragon. Why? Okay. Why? <laughs> uh, so you all grab onto one. <laughs> um, Rex, you still feel the uh, you know slow falled weight of an enemy on your shoulders. Awesome. And can everyone make a perception check? Of course I can. For you, anything for you. Let's go. Wick sees everything. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find it. There we go. Ooh! Anemone, Anemone sees everything. I also see everything. It's that high advantage you got being on his shoulders. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, Wick, right as you're, um, you know, you have the rod in your hand, everyone has the rope to, you know, save themselves. You're about to press the button. And with your lights, you see ground beneath you. Do I see this too? Like 100 feet away. Yeah, you all begin to see it. But with that crit, oh, you managed to uh, the floor. figure that out before you press the button. Ah. Should I still put it here just in case so we can get up higher? No. I mean... Yeah. I'll keep it for next time. Yes. I'll wrap yes. all the rope around yeah. the immovable rod and keep it. You now have, you now have an immovable marionette. So. <laughs> 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 and you all descend slowly and land on the ground without any injury <sighs> you can see across stay the ground on the back of the dragon cluttered <sighs> rocks bits of you know mining equipment that have fallen a bunch of charred ends of ropes that have coiled themselves beneath as they uh, were severed up above and you see a grotesque, splattered, rotting corpse of a dwarf. Ew. Well? Found him. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. Okay. What should we start with? Finding clues, obviously, but... Does anyone have any suggestions on what we should look for? Like, should we look for, like, a sort of struggle? It is... Maybe before we start uh, investigating this area, we should do a, a preliminary search to make sure we are not uh, ambushed, considering... Okay. Um, I don't know how the others are feeling, but I am quite uh, almost attacked. Enjoyed. I was going to suggest we might want to yes. also set up camp because I don't think any of us have us have it in us to get back out of here. Not right you now. did just sleep an hour ago. 
yes, getting out is going to be difficult, but uh, it is not a good. We can shore rest. We can still set up camp, do some investigations. Yeah, in which I think you get your wild shapes back on shore rest. Mm. Exactly. Cool. Um, is, I don't uh, benefit from a short rest, so I'm going to search all right. around. You can make me an investigation team. check and then tell me what you're looking for. Mm. Uh, well, Everyone else can begin taking a short rest if you'd like. I don't see you. Short rest. But I'm looking for enemies, and then if I can't mm. find any, I'll probably go over to the body. And you see them. several real dangerous-looking stalagmites. Could be anything. Could be another I th dark mantle. I throw a rock at it. I crit. <laughs> the rock bounces off of it. Anyone else who would like to roll wait. hit dice during their short rest, feel free. Yeah. Um, per day, you can roll up to your level, so three of wow. those hit dice to regain hit points. All the crits. <laughs> Good rolls, though. Wait, what do I roll? Hit um, there's dice. a hit dice button hit there dice. by your health. Yeah. If I don't find anything, then I will go and sit down with the Oh, hit dice. Like, We're clear! There's some really sketchy, like, sus-looking slag but... type or mites, whichever one they are, over there. Mm -hmm. But I threw a rock at them, and they didn't move, so I think we're good. Okay. So that is fine. Um, I will roll after... hit dice as well. Or hit dice, sorry. Yeah. After my um. short rest, could I do uh, an investigation around the area, specifically searching for any traces of magic and or, uh, you know, what, like things yeah. that would, would indicate spell casting or any kind of struggle like that? Sure. Um, make either an arcana or investigation check. Yeah, I'll do arcana. Hey, Mousy, your hit dice is supposed to be a 1d8. Not a yeah, that is true. That yeah, is I was going to say, that guy's a lot lower than I we'll, thought. We'll fix wow. that up. You know? if because is you built your class. Not as bad as I get. It oh. probably just never got put in properly. Yeah. So if you oh. want to just give yourself, well, I guess, one extra hit dice, if you need it, since all that was more or less. Do, uh, let can't. me just I fix it, it for I... you so you can read I was going to say, I knew how much. I, have... I had nine hit points, so I can just do it over again. Yeah, there you go. It is now set to do a D8. Okay, let me just do that three more. Do it yep. again. Melodius, you can nine. tell, um, you look around and, you know, there's some of the scattered rocks um, were that of the creatures you had fought. Um, mm -hmm. The tools seem to have fallen naturally. The ropes, you can get a slight, you know, tinge of fire magic upon them. You can tell it wasn't a naturally started fire. I do not know what they're talking about. And... Um, you can tell there is this uh, slight air of magic on the dwarf corpse as well. As mm. if a spell had been cast on him at some point. This is uh, fascinating. Would I um, be able to do a medicine check on the dwarf's corpse? Oh, I didn't need to do yep. that. Yep, at disadvantage, because it's more of a splatter than a corpse at this point. Okay. Yeah. Before he does that too, I'd also like to let him know that there is some definite magic involved in his in his uh, passing. That would definitely make sense. Magic involved? Yeah. Um, you're looking across everything you can see. It... You don't see any stab wounds on the pieces you can see, but you're not quite sure if you would see him necessarily. There's yeah. plenty of bits of him that are intact. And uh, you... See, definitely the most likely source of death was sheer impact on a stone face. <laughs> yeah, makes a lot of sense. Curious to see if there was any, like, uh, potion that was given to him previously mm -hmm. that might have been easier to see Dude. since his body is now splattered against mm -hmm. the floor. <laughs> these, uh, yeah, you go up to um, his torso cavity, and it seems a lot of his internal organs are still in there, so... And cut them open and go digging if you'd like. Oh, God. Oh, help oh, him yeah, out. why not? Sure, why not? Yeah. I'm a Milo priest, whatever. The coat. Milo takes the coat off, and it's time to help him out. Here we go. Yeah, Roll up the sleeves. We're digging in. <laughs> We're I'm going in. I'm a priest, I, used to, I eat people, whatever. This is nothing to me. <laughs> yeah, with that medicine check, you, you know, go in. It's like, okay, the intestines are over there. They're no good. 
Um, yeah. A couple of those bits fell out. Stomach's intact. Okay, let's see if there's any potions there. Cut it open. There's cereal, porridge, oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal. Ah, uh, of course. But, but it's there, not my oatmeal. It's not your oatmeal. And it doesn't seem to be any uh, trace of magic within his stomach that mm. you can tell. Or any obvious potion oh, discoloration. Well, I just got blood all over myself for no reason. That was fun. Reminds me of the olden days. I'm still <laughs> sitting on your shoulders, by the way. Okay. Also, can you please get off of me? No. Can I throw her off from me? Absolutely. <laughs> strength check against. Uh, what do I do? Strength checks. To stay oh, on him, you're going to need to hold on for dear life. I'm holding. He, he doesn't quite throw you <laughs> off, but you, you do manage to fall Close. off as he tries his hardest to throw you. I just glare at him. Um... I unfortunately don't have a way to... You said there was magic involved, Milo? Yes. Um, you do not know was the magic was the cause of his death. Uh, I can death. check tomorrow on like what it was. He just knows that there is some kind of magic involved. And considering I do not think Timmy is, could uh, perform any magics, although we did not check, it seems a uh, foul play could be uh, involved. As we suspected. So. Hmm. Well, I've dug through entrails and checked for magic. I think I'm going to uh, take a break. Understandable. Me too. Um, Does anyone fun? have any snacks? I, I have these got nuts. rations. I don't Are want you? those. Then, no, I have nothing. I'm sorry. I got a little bag of sand. I would like to search the dead body for snacks or anything interesting. There's a lot of food there. Okay, um, make an investigation check at disadvantage. I already have a negative two. <laughs> you find oatmeal. I don't want that oatmeal. You don't want that oatmeal. Not <laughs> even anemone wants that oatmeal. All right, mm. you guys managed to, you know, catch your breath after quite the harrowing experience. Look around. Um, this part of the uh, cave seems to naturally expand into several different um, tunnel ways. Um, much smaller tunnel ways are like more of a ten by ten, mm -hmm. so you can at least Wait. see all the way around you as you're traveling through them. I guess we just walk. Shall we uh, walk for some time and see what else we can uh, discover? Um, we know sure. that, uh, the body is. I'm going to leave the light coin that I have beside the body so we can see it and we know where it is. Okay. okay. Uh, Wick, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me? Okay. Yay. Good stuff. Moving on. What are you guys doing? I guess we're walking down, walking after walking down a tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Clean yeah. my hands. <laughs> during the short, during the short rest, I want to start working on something. What are you I can working on? It to you. I'll message it to you. Okay. What's everyone else up to? I'm taking Cle a cleaning, nap. Cleaning my hands. <laughs> yeah. I don't I'm like drawing him. pictures oh. in the wall with my dagger, actually. That's disturbing. How how well done are these drawings? <laughs> I don't know. Can I roll something? <laughs> yeah, make a... Um, we'll call it a dexterity check. For drawings? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Eh. That was a saving throw. I don't know if it matters. Oh. Similar. It's the way. same role, so you can have the 13. What do they see as they look at the drawings? A very badly drawn picture of a goat that they can only assume is goat meal, a heart, and then another drawing of a goat. 
Aww. That's wonderful. I'm gonna write. I'll just I'll summon the magic quill and I'll be writing things down into the book, back side of the pages. Periodically looking up to make sure I don't walk into anything, being a little bit taller than average. This was during the short rest, I think, but mm -hmm. yeah. once we start walking, yeah. I will say, just as you all begin to start walking, um, you see a rope fall down into the open cave nearby, and it seems to still be attached to something up above as it dangles freely. I would oh. like to go sniff it. Make a perception check. I'm preparing Firebolt. Yes. You smell fibers. This is a rope. <laughs> Guys, this is a rope. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We knew that. Thank you, Anemone. You're welcome. That you the information. Anemone doesn't understand sarcasm. Hmm. Who is it? I would like to tug on it. <laughs> Don't tug on it. Oh. <laughs> Shake it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. You feel oh, resistance as you tug on the rope. It, good. It's attached to something. You think that someone might be coming down there? It may be not a bad idea. It's a bad idea to shake it. Is it Sparky? It. Sparky! Probably... Hello! Hello, hello. You hear the faint it's echo of... <laughs> echo down beneath. You can't quite hear what he's saying, but... It seems to be down Sparky's beneath voice. or up? Or up. up. From up above okay. you. Coming gotcha. down <laughs> to up, 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 up. I think it's Sparky. I Is heard somebody yelling. Likely. Hmm. Considering uh, Sparkelius came in with Shardok. Welcome back, nice. by the way. Uh, yes, how would you get? How would you go get Don't down jump, then? please. <laughs> Ooh, Spark Helios is coming down. Okay, everybody get ready. We gotta catch him. What? what? How is the Spark Helios gonna get down here to us? Is it rope? I don't know, the rope that just came down. <laughs> I did tug on it. No, thinking about it is going this to thing, be a and I pick up the end long of it. walk thing. back up the rope. Oh, or otherwise, the I'm getting down. They're jumping. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> Spark Hillies is just like. Ah! <laughs> 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 I shouldn't do this, Anemone. I shouldn't. Do, I shouldn't do this. Yeah, with the rope. I'm like holding the end A of it so that it like, throws to the back ground. up. <laughs> 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 I'm not like shaking the actual rope. I want to like pick up the end of it and go like. It's gonna so mess like him up. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna mess him up? <laughs> yeah. You guys do anything as, after fun. all this? I'm just going to wait for him to come down, I guess. Goat meal! I start rubbing the blood off of my hands on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not going. It's not going away. I don't have any water. <laughs> I'd uh, like to go spit water? in Rex's hands. Oh, God, oh. no. Oh, God, no. Get away from me. <laughs> Oh no. God! This is so unholy. I'm sure <laughs> I have like a, like a what are they what are they called? Canteen. Not canteen. Thank you. That's yeah, I wasn't about I to also, waste my water on that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll I also have a canteen, like, but I'll give him like a palm full of water and like you can. Maybe do I don't have a canteen. I lied. I thought I did. Ego Rex, you can clean your hands. Hey. <laughs> After about ten. 15 minutes pass. You see another <laughs> rope come clattering to the ground, similar to the first. Oh. I would like to go sniff it. Mm. <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> just every time, she just runs over and sniffs them. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. You. There's a scent among this. A mild warmth. A, a recognizable scent. <clears throat> You this you suspect rope. this rope had been leaning against the body of Goatmeal for some time now before it was released down to greet you beneath. God almighty. It's Goatmeal. What? Goatmeal! 
you! Know? I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if goats can climb down ropes. I don't. Yeah. But it smells like goat meal. Just imagine goat meal tied to a rope. <laughs> yeah, just like slowly Pink. being like just a pulley yeah. set down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulley, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like 15 minutes, we hear <laughs> it's just a really loud move. pulley. Yeah, I'm just waiting at the bottom of the hole, looking up with a big smile on my face, like I'm awaiting goat meal's arrival. She's like squatting with her goat legs. Yep, her, her tail's going, <laughs> her little tail, <laughs> oh, little tail poking out of her dress. <laughs> That's cute. Another ten Let's minutes passes. Uh, we're about to go. Does anyone have any like games we could play? We could play tic tac toe. Uh, yeah, I draw tic tac toe in the sand, or if there's any like dust or dirt or whatever. I don't know how like flat of stone it is. I put an X in the top left corner. <laughs> okay. I put a circle in the bottom right. I put an X in the bottom left corner. I put one in the left middle one. Oh, you're good. I put one <laughs> in the top right corner. Corner, yeah. I put one in the top middle <laughs> one. <laughs> um. I put one in the middle. I win. Ah, darn. Wanna play again? That's a fun game. Yeah. In, <laughs> in the meantime, I'd like to actually have a conversation with Rex as well while they're playing tic tac toe. Yeah. Oh, you actually drew a tic tac toe board. Yep. I guess that could have worked too. Feel but... free to keep playing as they're having their conversation. Sure. <laughs> All right. You can go first. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um, Pick my color. Milo oh, yeah. walks up over to uh, you, Rex. Mm. Yes. Um, Rex. Uh, mm. First things uh, first, I would like to apologize for uh, the incident regarding the shard. Um, you know, I nearly forgot about that until you brought it up. Well, I did not. So, well, here we are. Um, awesome. It is not my desire to see people hurt because of my experiments so um in the future i'd like to offer you some kind of uh, recompense oh that's um, that's a bad thing to offer me but i'll well, take it i owe so many people so many things at this point it is not really a big deal mm -hmm. um one other thing i'd like to ask you about i have um mastered the use well, not so much so mastered but Understood uh, the workings behind necrotics damage and ice elements and uh, the fire elements. Just glancing over at the them yeah, playing tic tac toe. Too, yeah. I can't believe you won again. <laughs> <laughs> how did you do that? I'm just That's so definitely good. how you play tic tac toe. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. Um, Time well, to charm. That uh, damage you do, the typing uh, the element, it is mm. uh, curious. I'm interested in its uh, inner workings, if you will. Um, well. If you could uh, explain something about it, it would be. Well, there's not really much to explain. Yes, it's like a normal fireball one would shoot, mm -hmm. like Wick shoots. But it it's also true. imbued with the holy power. Ah, I see. Or with the priests want you to make believe that is. Ah, uh, uh huh. <laughs> yes. Um, Shydock is just watching you guys play, like, how, how do you do this? <laughs> And this Ebony's is, uh, just really good at tic tac toe. This is, uh, <coughs> a curious uh, power. It's something that I would be uh, well interested in if uh, in the future 
you would be willing to teach me more about this holy magic? Well, that means you would have to take a very, very long course on Celestia. Well, it seems we have quite some time together, so. Oh, it's not something you'll learn within a few My days friend, or a few weeks. I have spent the last century studying magic in some time more, see. It is nothing but a drop in my lifespan. Well, I mean, I can teach it. But I don't know if I'd be the best teacher for it. Maybe Father Romero could teach you something, but for me, it might just be the basic verbal teachings. When it comes to the actual learning, Father Romero would be better at that. But... Last time I saw him, the priests in the city were not very happy with me. So I don't know if you'd be able to talk to him at the moment. But maybe, maybe on our travel, if we're lucky enough, just is... make sure the other priests don't find me. I will make sure that uh, no one uh, tries anything uh, funny. That is. Yeah, but uh, between me and you... The robes and everything you see? Yeah, I didn't give those back. Ah, are you... You know what? It is something that we will have to talk about another day. Uh, yeah, there seems to be a commotion going on with some game. Yes. I throw I'm a not... rock. I don't want to play anymore! You I always failed... win! <laughs> I failed to Sorry, understand I'm just the... good at this. The rules ah, of this game. I'm going to hmm. get you back. I'm going to win one of these times. Can I just walk over and, like, scratch out the entire flooring of the tic-tac-toe? <laughs> With my foot. Just, just like, run your it claws off. across it. Yeah, just rubbing against it. Just like, this is not how you play this game, first off. <laughs> what do you mean? We're playing it. You put the X and you put the O and you gotta make a line. Uh, Someone added squares. I don't know who it was, but... I don't know. <laughs> it just scratches all over it now. This is my goat <laughs> drawing, by the way. Oh, they're so cute. And I just scratched that one out just cause. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if I may. If... Thank you. Thank you. Thank yep, you for scratching it. I got you. Thank you. Thanks, champ. <clears throat> you know, some of us were trying to have a conversation. We weren't bothering you. We were playing by ourselves. Yeah. Mr. Grumpy Pants, I healed you earlier, and you said that I could get rides, and you lied and threw me off your back. So and I when, did, you when did I even say that? Uh, I would like to headbutt him with my horns. <laughs> Make a strength check. <laughs> right in the knee. Get him right in the knee. <laughs> get him. Put him in the shins. <clears throat> you try, oh, but he just knees. slightly steps backwards, and you miss. I saved you from dying yesterday. Wait, can you That's make a uh, dexterity saving yeah. throw for me? Rick? Like you do for us. It's mutual. You don't need to be a, a butthead about it. I'm doing the dexterity saving throw? No, uh, Wick needs to make it. Oh, Wick. Oh, ah, yep. ah. oh Dexterity no. saving throw? Yep. A goat's falling on your head. In the sound of bowling pins. <laughs> 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 wow, falling anvils. Who would have thunk it? You take seven damage as a errant pickaxe slams against you. Oh. Which May end? Um, <laughs> hmm. Which end of the pickaxe? Absolutely brained by this pickaxe. <laughs> uh, you get clobbered over the, si the side of the pickaxe, hits you in the head. Oh! Ow! I'm glad I didn't stand under that hole anymore. This is raining pickaxes. I'm just not on my side today. I would like to sniff the pickaxe. Okay. Yeah, at this point, smells a little bit like goat meal. You got a scent now. You also see a piece of paper tied to it. I would like to eat it. <laughs> no, okay. I grabbed a piece of paper. I, yeah, I was gonna say, slide a hand that sucker away. <laughs> I see you're going for it with brick. her mouth, and I instantly grab it. Hmm. <laughs> you managed to get it before she chews on it? Too Sick. much. Yeah, it's a 
<laughs> and very like scratchy handwriting. I don't know if y'all see the ropes I dropped down beneath there, but if you do, you know, I can find you some more. But I don't know if you guys need to climb up or you're going to keep going. I'll wait up here a bit, though. Oh. Um, We're supposed to. waiting for us. Um, I want to <laughs> see goat meal, so I'm going. No, we have to yeah. go. We have to put these rods in. We have to finish. You can go meal after. <laughs> Just think, the longer you're apart, you're gonna come back together, and it's gonna be amazing. You've only oh. been, you've only seen him, like not seen him for a couple hours. You gotta go like a couple days. It, no, it's been like a day. We slept in the butt, and then we're here. We like it's, it's been a night, butt, like four hours before we needed to sleep. But then we slept, so it's been like ten hours at least. Yes. Let's make it like 70. <gasps> 72? Hours. Yeah. But the, they're not going to wait up there that long and they're going to think we died. I think that they understand. I always that we tell are them, but I don't mission. know how. I could go fly up and say hello and say we're going to be down there for a while. I do not trust her. I don't think you're going to come back, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, I'll I could back. climb up. That's a long way to climb. I have wings. But I am the tallest, so it wouldn't take as long. I'm the... might be the shortest. Yeah, but you also have a very long. I go to Milo. You have levitate, right? I would like to headbutt him again. Do you have any <laughs> other... Do you have message spells or anything? Unfortunately, no. Um, I'm not do you have spell flops? I have... I have an understanding of the levitate spell, as I've demonstrated in the past. I cannot, at the current moment, use it. Mm. I is, have wild shapes. Strange. I have two of and them. I can it's go. A, it, it is quite the same. Ooh. And I, uh, I point to all the, sc the scratches and ripped open portions of my shirt. Okay. It's just a bit of an issue. It's hurting. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, in the future, I intend to get some kind of messaging spell, but for now, Unfortunately, no. Anemone, if you go, you have to come back. Otherwise, we're all going to be... Okay, oh. listen, listen, listen. I have an idea. Let's and write I a note. Well. Let's <laughs> write a note. I won't even morph out of a bird. I'll take the note up. I'll drop it off. I'll wave my little wing, and then I'll come right back. Okay, I will write a note saying... Like to, I would like to use draconic nature. Okay. <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> I don't know what that does. That's okay, you're gonna find out. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I, I start writing the notes. Wings! It allows me to make my voice three times as loud. Great. Right. <laughs> this could that go would... one of two ways. <laughs> <laughs> well, All we'll the rocks out. are gonna tumble nah, down nah, nah, and nah, wash us. Fine. Just be quick. <laughs> if you Usually make it so anemone can't see oatmeal, or goat meal, I know his name. She's going to be very upset with you. Raquel! Oh. Yes! <laughs> Jesus! Celestia! <laughs> yeah, up there, it's loud. You'll hear yeah. it echo upwards in the cave and outwards through all the connecting tunnels. We'll be back soon. For now, just hold it and wait. We need to investigate and find all the other rods. Well, if they didn't know we were here before, they do now. How do we know? We tons of stalactites. Would we hear something muffled back? Burn. <laughs> 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 Echoing, bleeding through the tunnels. Uh, some, uh, some other cool uh, things. If you have like fire, that that'll like you know be brighter and I think know, they change colors and the, other than that, we're good. Let's go. The racial spell. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anemone sulks but follows along. Prestidigitation. <coughs> or yeah. Prestidigitation or thaumaturgy. Oh, uh, maybe it's thaumaturgy. One of the two. They do very similar things. Mm -hmm. I would like to grab the pickaxe and start whistling as we head down the cave. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope you're whistling the Snow White Dwarf Yeah, song. that's all I was thinking of. Make a performance check. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. We're off to the 
what it sounds like. It's exactly what it sounds like. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, you guys continue oh. down the uh, cave. The perfect echo of the caves creates like a nice, like almost. Chord it's actually effect. harmony. Yeah. It's harmonizing <laughs> all of his, his whistles. <laughs> like that. <laughs> My dog does not like whistling. Nope. Oh, sorry. I heard, I heard them. Mm -hmm. Oh. So. Mm -hmm. You continue through the cave. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's a lot of similar cave structures going on. The slight glows of bits of the uh, ore, the titan glass in the wall, things like that happening. Some more of the uh, incandescent fungi. And it seems like it's in higher amount down here, you know. Less have been able to delve this far to, to gather this much. At least less have delved this far safely. And it's, of course, there's anything to say about this troop. Is anyone um, doing anything interesting? I mean, I'd like to keep an eye out for any protruding rods of immovability that have yeah, since rusted. Okay. Can everyone make a perception check? I can. Whoa! Whoa! Melodious. Whoa. Um, That's me. What I do. Wick, after a... Wick and Shrydock, about like an hour of traveling, you do manage to see another spot. This one's much lower, um, kind of up against one of the walls between like some larger boulders where another rod seems to have been wedged. Um, but Melodius, you see um, in the distance in the cave uh, through your dark vision, just like on the edge of it, there seems to be standing a... Uh, what looks to be some sort of tiefling figure. I walk over to the rod to go. Ah, uh, is my friend? Maybe it is this. Ah. Hold on one second. I just gotta change it right there. Scratch. There is someone that is out sixty feet away from us. They are sixty feet in that I, direction. I, I know. I know. They are a tiefling. Milo, can you make a uh, wisdom save? Uh, yeah, sure can. As I'm like facing Milo, I'll have like my dancing lights kind of like mm -hmm. st stealthily, like, I don't know, casually Thanks. drift out and like spread out more. So it looks like we've like stopped and we're like, I'm spreading the lights out so that we can see and like have one go a little bit farther down towards the teeth lane and try and like do it aim mm -hmm. aim aimlessly while I like go and change the rod out if like i don't know the distance like if i have to go close to them or if it's like right there and then they're like way down milo you feel um the urge to stop talking about this figure as you see it take some steps back into the darkness and the lights brush around the room wasn't shall we replace the rod and get to move on you don't see the figure yeah. he was talking about and he changed the topic real quick yeah, we can. We have so many rods to finish. This is uh -huh. two out of, what is it, uh, 12 rods. That is uh, one-sixth of the way there. We are making uh, progress. Not as fast as maybe necessary, but we should I go. knock on his head. I know, that's why we're here. Okay, yes. This is, I'm glad you're creating the green sun. I that's... change out the rod. Yeah, much like the other one. A little bit rusted in this situation, but doesn't seem to be much growing on this one. You click the button, it you know comes free. You put another one, fresh rod into its place, seems to hold steady. I'm gonna make sure that the light is one or one of the one of my dancing lights is like the full distance it can go, which is I think 120 feet. Okay. Uh, 100. 20 feet. Yes. Um. Oh, no, wait. I can cast it up to 120 feet. I can move the lights up to 60 feet to a new spot within range. The light must be within 20 feet of another light created by the spell, or the light winks. Okay, so I'll, like, How many lights a, do you have? a line of them. Four. Okay. So I'll keep them in a like line. 80 feet string of lights. Yeah. Whatever their max distance is, I'll keep them. Yeah, you have 
pretty much in this cave it's not as you know wide and cavernous as the previous one was so you got a pretty good view of everything um hmm. in fact wick you also see this figure at the edge of the light as it just oh. backs up out of it hmm. but you don't want to tell anyone about it i don't hmm. as something is also affecting your mind we really should get moving there isn't much time to waste I agree. That seems like a good idea. I'm going to keep watching the figure. Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? I'm just not allowed to, like... Yeah, you anything. look for you know, you see it at one second, then it steps away from the light. It seems like I'm mm -hmm. a pretty good idea of, you know, where the light sources are and tries to avoid them. Mm -hmm. so, um... and at this point, Shadok like, just keeps walking vision is and pretty with them. At the range that the mm -hmm. uh, dancing lights are kept at. Um, I'll walk forward a little bit as we prep to go. So sort of halfway between the beginning of the lights and the end of the lights. So I can see. Okay. Well, how many more? Ten, uh, ten more to go? So. Yes. Which, uh, if they are this easy, it should take us no time whatsoever. So, let's go. Keep moving. Just, yep. Keep on walking. Keep on trucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're moving through these caves. It, it's taking a lot of time. There is a lot of tunnels going through here. But, you know, over time, you know, several hours pass, but you manage to get one, two, three more of those rods into place. At that point, you hear another rumble echoing through the cave. Can you each make me a constitution saving throw? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Rex. <laughs> Monka S. So, no boy. <laughs> most of you make a great <laughs> save. <laughs> uh-huh. Rex, you take five rock. points of damage as another jolt of lightning just <laughs> spirals around lightning? this cave <laughs> and the ground you're standing on it seems to go right underneath it and conducts a little bit right into your feet as they Ow. stand on the ground and you take five points of damage as you just feel like you've walked into an electric fence uh. <laughs> that was karma for scratching out my goat drawing I would disagree with her, but... Wait, like how long have we been roughly walking for? I'd say at this point... Two hours, right? Three hours. <laughs> Three hours. We have probably some time before we should even think about taking a rest. Um... Well... <laughs> so many ways to go, and unfortunately, they were not all easy as the second one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this one super crazy, so that leaves us with seven more to go. We could uh, keep going. Hopefully, it's one more done today. And by the standard, we would be able to finish them all tomorrow if we kept the same pace. But, uh. There's just not much else to do in the mm -hmm. caverns of the giant titans. So. We complete our jobs. I get my credits. Mm -hmm. And. Why do you want the Titan Glass? What? Why do you want the Titan Glass? Yeah. Well, it's quite magical, is it not? Mm hmm. But what would you use it for? Do you use it in your magic casting? I mean, it is possible. It could help me with my magic casting. I do not understand its properties as of right now. So you want to study it? Yes. I would like to study it and uh, understand its uh, effects. And, uh, would you properties. use it for bad things? Well, considering I am here uh, on the order of my academy mm -hmm. and I am helping to secure the titans to this realm so that the world does not end by that mm -hmm. means, I would argue that I am so far two for two on good points. Here's the thing, though. That could all be a part of a bigger plan. Just, 
you could not want to raise the titans because here's the thing if i were to think of like a maniacal plan right of like people wanting to take over the world why would you want the titans back you wouldn't want the titans back because they would just like kill and crush everything and i'm just gonna keep rambling and walk down the hallway <laughs> but like just going on about like capitalism and like people wanting to take over the world for their own greater good and like that kind all of thing. all over Titan. not disagreeing or agreeing with either side of just like oh well like how i would like how i would do it yeah. or, like how some like like smarter people would be like yeah we'll want, like we might want the titan glass because we could sell it for a lot of money or we could use it to make like something like really dangerous and like take over like the economy and blah, 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 like that kind of thing i would just like <laughs> start rambling uh, I'm just gonna be listening along as we walk, just nodding and in, in agreement. And then when when they're done with Wolf, it is uh, I find it a compliment that you would think I was so smart to come up with so many various possibilities for my grand world takeover plans. Unfortunately, uh, I have to give you the bad news: it, uh, that is not any of my plans. Uh, if you want the truth, can I ask you for a favor? Sure. I would ask that you tell no one and show no one what I am about to show you. <gasps> I'm great at keeping secrets. I already have. Okay. I'm already keeping one. Perfect. <laughs> and I'm just gonna roll up my sleeve, and there's gonna be like scars all the way up his arms of like different magic runes that have been like carved, like almost like they've been carved into his body. Ooh. That looks it is, like a. Uh... Well, I mean. In time, they recover. Uh, mm -hmm. I was going to use the Titan Glass as a method to carve the runes to, uh, if I could understand the magical properties of this lightning, because it seems different from the normal types that you would use. I was also Wait, going you to. you want the glass to cut it further or to reverse it? No, to cut it further. I want to understand the effects oh. of the Titan Glass on the human, uh, the body of a humanoid. Magical creatures like myself. You see, it is my duty, is a part of my research, to understand the nature of all the elements. And uh, how we but can manipulate... But you're so squishy invention. already. Would that not hurt? I mean, yes, of course it hurts. I am carving into my body. Maybe you should talk with Rex. Maybe he can, like, heal you while you do it. Oh, no, it's quite fine. I've done this for the last... Oh, no, maybe you did while. this? Someone oh, didn't yes. do this to you? No, no, I did this to myself. Sorry. It is okay. I did this to myself. I had... Um, Ow. I refused to allow anyone else to do it to me, and I refused to do it to anyone else for reasons that are my own. Um, but uh, when mending, weaving, and adjusting the ethereal planes, mm -hmm. the magic, the ley lines, it is... My duty and uh, my research so that we can cast any spells at any type of elemental nature that suits the situation. So we can prevent things like the Titans from coming back. I can show you many more scars if you are so interested. No, I'm just processing. It just takes an extra second. I maintain it's it, just... but it, this, it takes a second. No, that is fine. It is... Uh, something that none, uh, many of my colleagues are also not, uh, not so fond of this one, so. But if I we can, can imagine cast, why. Yes, but if we can cast fire spells as ice spells or lightning spells, I feel like there would be quite the value in that. <gasps> could I do that with my stuff? It is possible, I could try and teach you, but... I mean, I only understand the nature of the elements due to mm. the carving and... That is part of my studies. Oh, I understand. Experimentation on oneself is not the normal, for sure. But it is the only way that I can learn and understand. I get the experimentation point because you gotta like, you gotta like make stuff and like mm -hmm. have stuff fail to like make things better. My exactly. thing, like, it's just the self-inflicted part that I'm like sad about because like obviously it hurts and like there are know. pains that are much stronger in the world than the ones mm. that one can inflict on oneself is this another philosophy no 
saying like that you have no. of like your region? Oh, okay. No. This is just how I feel. It's not like Zikuku and Zipuku. No. Oh. Do you have any I'm more of those? Those are fun. No, I really just made the setup on the spot. I was trying to be funny, but uh, not to uh, oh. call me the types. It's not real, then? You don't say that? No, of course not. It's, it's crazy. I also... We do not speak uh, common in my hometown. <gasps> what do you speak? Elvish. I didn't write down any of my languages. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just speak to her in Elvish. <clears throat> but, like, if anyone else understands, they're free to listen in. I mean... Whoa. So... <laughs> Uh, well, anyways, I like. I'd be better and say I have it because I don't. I don't know what's. I, I, you, you can choose your language right now if you haven't chosen. Go on. I actually, I Heck speak yeah. Elvish. Hey. You do? <laughs> I speak Druidic, Elvish, and Sylvan. <clears throat> Sylvan. Ooh. Uh, I will say, uh, Wick, it's not unlikely that you would speak Elvish. I was gonna uh, say. I also realize none uh, of my. Like uh, proficiencies or skills saved, so that's weird. Oh, I think that's a roll twenty thing that happened. Mm. Well, feel free to edit those afterwards, or literally if you want to meta game them and just when a cool situation pops up for you to know something, feel free to play like that if you'd like to. I think my mm. my subclass also allows me to basically know tons of languages. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'll speak to her in Elvish. Okay. So, well, anyways, the kind of base rough idea is that I take the elements. Whoa. Hmm? Are you... Where'd your accent go? I'm speaking to you in my native tongue. <laughs> <laughs> but your accent's gone. Because I'm speaking to you in my native tongue. Um... Speaking in Elvish. That's okay. Do you not have an wait, accent in your I can understand tongue? you. That means I know it too. No, cool. it would just be whatever the French language I is. I read it yeah. in a book once, I think. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. I mean, yeah. <gasps> Do you have books like not that you, like you use for your spells? Of course. These are quite. This is uh, some books that I uh, like that are not educational. Can I read your favorite? I do not, uh... No. Sorry. Please! It and is, I give uh... him a trinket. I'll trade you! It is a sentimental piece. But so. I'll give it back. I just... Can you read it to me? Sure. I can read it to <gasps> you at some point. Okay. Time to write a book between now and next session. <laughs> 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 yes, got some stories. <laughs> <laughs> One terrasque, two terrasque, red terrasque, blue terrasque. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> pop on I pop. I smell like green eggs and terrasque. <laughs> Horton hears a beholder. <laughs> <laughs> them into place. I'm still keeping an eye out for that person, even though mm -hmm. I can't say anything about it. Yeah, you each feel like you spot him a couple more times. Almost want to wave, but think better of it. <laughs> can, I, like, look at, can I, like, look at Milo and see if, like, they notice at the same time as me? Make an yeah. insight check. Each of you can do this. In fact, I'm, anyone here can make Milo's an insight check. Milo's so low in charisma, he wouldn't hide anything, so feel free. Everyone is doing it? Uh, yeah, feel free to make one if you care. Did I see him from the beginning? Because you never mentioned. No, I never. Anything. I don't I don't think me, you, or Shydock have seen. Mm -hmm. Are we all inciting on me? Is that what's happening? <laughs> inciting on, on us, I think. Yeah, whole situation. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll insight mm -hmm. on. I want to insight the situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's <We're> happening? <laughs> where, where, what's where, going on? So, Milo, Wick, you can't quite tell, you know that each of you are, you know, 
I end up the same individual. But Rex, they are being weird. <laughs> when aren't they? Let's be real here. <laughs> to be fair, we also just spent like I just spent the last 30, 40 minutes of this walk going over a very private conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking in various tongues. I keep looking around the corners, you know, more than usual. Mm -hmm. Like trying to make like eye contact Speaking with in like Milo, but it's not like what's probably like, like, you know Elvish or Sylvan or oh something. God, no. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know what they're saying. <laughs> like, do you see? Do you see it? Can, yeah, I don't want to. Be Milo though. avoids all eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. No thanks. <laughs> and you guys continue oh, traveling like through the tunnels of the uh, cave. Um, as Kill you're going, you see a bunch more interesting things. There's um. Yum. This one area where there's almost like this pool of water and beneath it you can like see sparks of electricity just arcing through the water in different spots going spot to spot almost bouncing all around it. Bad, don't touch it. it would be bad I swear you were going to tell us there's a rod in that water <laughs> and we were going to have to find a way around this oh. rod. <laughs> don't give him ideas. <laughs> In fact, no. In fact, ah! here's a rod there. You see a shimmer at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Later on, you're moving through and you see what seems to be like rats running through the um, corners of the cave. But of course, yeah. each one, as they approach near each other, another little arc of lightning zaps from rat to rat, makes a little chain Ooh. of them. And you can see there's probably oh, like a either. dozen or two dozen of them in this Ew. little colony running through. Yeah, it's a straight up like sewer situation. But, you know, they seem to stay away from you as you guys are moving forward with your lights. Um, another couple of different, you know, immovable rods pop up. You guys do what you usually do, replace them. And, you know, more of the day passes by and you find yourself getting a little tired. Beep. My feet hurt. I'm hungry. Well then, I do not know how the others feel, but we should uh, take uh, set camp. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. It's been a very long day. Yes, it has. I will ritual cast alarm because I forgot I could ritual cast it last time. <laughs> <laughs> and I will nice. take the wire and I will lay it out and wrap okay. it around our area. You find a spot of the cave, it's real easy to, uh, you know, cover both entrance and exit so that um, the wire easily covers um, everything around you. If anything comes into that zone, you will be mentally mm -hmm. alarmed. Um, I guess I'll help with setting up food and other things for the night. Getting okay. fires Noms. rolling. No, I am no, no, good no. at fire, so I'll help with getting the fire rolling. Okay. Get a fire going, alarm set up, you all get a meal in you. Um, and you're able to find a comfortable spot to go to bed. Is anyone keeping watch or anything like that? Yeah, I'll I... stay up for four hours. I'll take second watch. I only need four hours of sleep, so I can just do two watches. It's very easy. Anyone Got planning levels. on the third watch? I could do the third. All right. And then it would not help, so. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think so. Sorry. It's a good thing oh, I can cover two player. watches. I'll make the dancing lights little stars again until I fall asleep. The night lights approach. Oh. Best use of dancing lights. Mm -hmm. Can like you drop the alarm them. spell in the chat for me, please? Yeah. Milo, please let us get a rest in. Please, I beg Why? of you. <laughs> rest in my campaign? That's absurd. <laughs> it's your fault for playing a spellcaster. Yeah, why do you all play spellcasters? That's the real problem. Because <laughs> we've played mainly hmm. in the past three games. Because I wanted to try something new. <laughs> <laughs> I want so you, to play so you set the alarm. <laughs> As I said, your area is easily confined there good stuff tiny or larger so even if a rat runs across it you'll be designated great um do you designate any of your uh party members to not set off yes. the alarm okay yeah good to know and ping awakens you if you're sleeping cool all right you all 
begin to fall asleep. Milo, can you make a perception check? I, ow, I can, yeah. Another bear. Not a bear, but you <laughs> I see lock that. Eyes with a bear. I, I hope not. <laughs> you see that familiar tiefling figure step back into the edge of your vision. I'm kind of... Oh. Just going to look at him. Going to look at him. Stand you hear a voice down. creep into your mind. Come to me. And you're compelled to do so. Yeah, I do. I get up, I grab my book. Stuck stuff it in my little book holder. And I walk on over. Yeah, and as you get closer, you see what seems to be this beautiful... You know, reddish pink skinned tiefling with four horns coming out of the top of its head. Um, long red hair, kind of in a braid on its back. And just like this fine silk tunic. I am going to make the assumption, considering the environment we are in, that you are no average tiefling. No, I am unfortunately trapped here. Terrible bookers. Indeed. Would you like to help that me? Is... You should help me. Sh you can help. Should I? I am sure that I can help you, but I am not sure what you kind of help you need. And you just feel this feeling in the back of your mind just urging you to, you know, go with whatever this person says. What a well. What have you been putting around in the walls? We have been putting uh, something that we are told to put in the walls. It is just part of our job. I want one. And why Could you take that, that last one down for me? can give you another one. I would like that one. Can I resist or do I have to do it? Mm. You can resist. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. You do not succeed. Okay. Well, I guess you do not want the husty rod. In which case, I... Walk over. Yeah, it's like a couple hundred feet back. Little. You know, you walk away from the camp and leave them all on their own. Oh, now I know why you asked about the alarm spell. Walk straight over the string. Mm -hmm. Not a sound is made. Walk over. Find yourself one of the uh, rods you had set up previously. Click it. Mm. Okay. Just mm. pull it out of the wall. Perfect. It looks wonderful. I mean, this is brand new. It is quite stunning. Magic, yes. I appreciate it. Thank you for such a fine gift. Do you have any uh, food? I mean, I have rations, but that is it. Could I have some? I suppose so. If you're so hungry. I guess I'll pull from my personal ration store and you know, break out half a dried pack. Could I have all of it, please? Pack. I mean, I would need to eat myself. I'm sure um, your friends can help you. In fact, I, do they have any food? I mean, I wouldn't call them my friends. We have only known each other for so long. And I think they are suspicious of me still. Hmm. That's rather unfair, isn't it? A bit. I mean, I'm used to being unwanted in the large groups of people, so. I understand. That is why I was banished here. You were banished here because they did not want to around? Precisely. We have very similar. We have similar experiences, it seems. Well, I can give you my questions. Uh... 
and hopefully that is enough to get you through the journey. And they hold out a pouch in front of you. I dump my dry tack in there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you just notice Eleven. yourself. Just, huh, I just put all my food in this bag. Interesting. Yeah, I'm like not entirely positive. Like inside my head, it's screaming like, "What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Mm, this is stupid." Absolutely, but it feels right and wrong at the same time. Uh, well, perhaps we should make an offering to the um, Titan. I mean, is that really the smartest idea? I mean, we wouldn't want to awaken it. You wouldn't want to be destroyed within it either, would we? That would be bad, yes. The Titan hungers. I mean, that is hard to feed put on us, would we? Titan is everlasting. Are you telling me that the Titan is alive in trying to digest us as we speak? It may. If we do not satiate its hunger. And how will we satiate its hunger exactly? Perhaps if your friends have more food, we could burn it as an offering to the Titan. Can I? Can I cast Firebolt on myself? Sure. I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot with Firebolt. Absolutely. Make a make an attack roll. No. All right. Well. Yeah. I'll say you can hit. <laughs> You're just hitting yourself. Yeah. But. Damage, I suppose. Oh, I've crit myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he's down. I'll, I'll let you know that 19 was exactly how much health I had left. <gasps> which is That's actually... That's one way to stop the commotion. <laughs> Jesus. And we're all passed out. Well, yeah, you... After <laughs> handing all this food over, you... You know, look at your hand, a f bit of fire forms in it, and you see a confused look on the face of this being as you just blast, you know, a hole, like, into your foot, and the flame just kind of concusses the both of you back for a second. You f last thing you feel is yourself just hitting the hard stone as you fall backwards. And that's where we're going to wrap up this session. Mm. So, Michael, you get another character made just in case? Ah! <laughs> I'm going to be rolling death saves through the night. <laughs> <laughs> I. This is fun. <laughs> Man, that's a decision I had to make. That's so Great much decision damage. up until the crit hit. That's so much I mean, damage. I think in it's your a best firebolt ever. <laughs> knocking me out is probably the best way to save everyone. Yeah, you're probably we'll see right. See if we heard it next time. Yep. Did the uh, firebolt set off the alarm spell by chance? Um, is a creature that crosses seem that it? it. We don't, does we'll it? have to. We read. Find out no, and... we read alarm very specifically. It doesn't doesn't set off the alarm, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, true. if I die, at least everybody else lives. <laughs> yeah, you know, good to take one for the team. Hey, you know, it's good stuff. If you die, then I'm next. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You know, no. Wicked, Wicked didn't even take a Well, I think if you, if Could've I die worse. and you wake up and I dead corpse is there, I think you have an idea of what happened. <laughs> if your corpse is there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. If my corpse is there. <sighs> now I'm being dragged up into the night. He just has a flaming By hole a in his foot. What happened? <laughs> the person walks up to camp afterwards. Yo, big misunderstanding. I said feed the titan. He took it too literally. I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want. I just wanted to mess around. I was just. It was. A I was wanting like a steak dinner or something. Not this. I thought he was a better chef than me. You know what am I gonna say? <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? I just, I just wanted to feed the Titan a little. I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna sacrifice himself. This is too much for me. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the accent comes out of this thing. Now. Just, oh, I didn't yeah. know this was all gonna happen. I'm so sorry. I, oh. 
This joke, you get your joke really, really cool, far. But it just, it didn't come through. It was really yeah. cool. I'm sorry. This is my this first time was... doing anything like this. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this, this joke went real far. Just it's it's getting rough. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> well then. So how much fun is everyone having? <laughs> oh, I am the most fun. So excited. I, I will. I... <laughs> I will prep a character, Zyla. That was a really interesting result of that action. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, was I was only missing like... four hit points. What could go wrong? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> like me. That's I have full health. What could go wrong? Gets hit in the head with a pickaxe. Not only did I roll, not only did I roll a crit on the the hit, I rolled Those near max high damage. High dice, one shy of max damage. My god. That's quite impressive. Yeah. That's the best damage anyone's rolled in this campaign. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. at the worst time. Yeah, just on yourself. <laughs> on I'm actually out damage at 18. So. Far away uh, from the group, all alone, with a mysterious figure. Good stuff. Um, well, we'll find out what happens with that next week. And we'll find out if uh, Goatmeal gets reunited with the group. Yeah, that's the most important bit of this. Yeah, yeah. Did you show off fan art last time or this before we started? No, I did yeah. not. No, nope. pulled it up and everything, planning to have it ready. But shabow. Guys, if you have fan art, join the Discord. To put it in Make there. It. I save all the fan art of my character. <laughs> Selfish. Just my character. Because then I like reshow it on my stream. I'm like, hey guys, mm -hmm. look what these guys made me. You should come out, come and look at it. Yep. Uh, we got some goats here, the goat mafia, as they were proclaimed. <laughs> Doing their so thing funny. out here. What well, juicy fan art do we have? Of course, people. Just killing it. With mm -hmm. the wick as well. The dancing lights fluttering around the cave. This one was so cool. Yeah, I like the little details with just like the subtle light of the mushrooms. And you got the stalactites yeah. and mites and everything. And then just character with that as well. And what would this be without travel oatmeal? <laughs> True. <laughs> Delicious travel oatmeal. Absolutely. And it's gone because when Emily fed it to the goat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got your hands Would you up. rather goat meal had gotten kidnapped? No. I will neither confirm nor deny my <laughs> my thought process on that statement <laughs> <laughs> well thank you guys for playing D, D, and thank you all for watching D. &D. it's a good time we do this every week on um, wednesday 6 p.m est make sure to tune in if you want to catch up on previous episodes go to the dice and fire youtube channel where this very episode will be uploaded friday probably 6 p.m est because that's when i've been doing it so two days after every episode Catch it on YouTube if you missed any of it. And of course, leave a nice comment on there with your favorite moment. And thank you for joining us in chat today. Anyone have anything to uh, say before we get going? Be good people, do good things. That thing that you've been wanting to do that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, do it. <laughs> I will. Oh boy. I will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we all have a wonderful week. Hopefully we'll see you again this Saturday for a little bit of Monster Hunter D&D at 2 p.m. EST. And we'll see you next week for more Titan's Edge. All right. Farewell. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.